the stars align a night like this can never rewind can you hear the wolf cry out to the light a night like this and never shine so bright Take a couple steps back As you hear me start to howl Take a couple steps back When I lose all control Watch me turn into a Couple steps back as you hear me start to howl. Take a couple steps back when I lose all control. Watch me turn into a werewolf, and I will hold to the break of dawn. Don't you dare to try to stop me. This is the heart.
Hello guys, how's it going? Uh, give me one second, I gotta figure some stuff out. Do 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 Oh, okay. Good thing I ate before I got on off the server earlier. Uh, okay. I don't know how today's gonna go. Um, there's a there's a driving portion, I think, and we all know how I do with driving, especially in GTA. So uh, we'll see how today goes. Uh, I guess we're going lower. It's fine. I can I can take longer over. I got plenty of time. Oh shit! We got ten minutes. Uh. I know, first thing, once I get my actual, like, consistent pay on this guy, I'm, I'm giving myself, like, a better car. This car sucks. I swear, if we were not supposed to go lower... I think there's a way to go from like lower to upper. Yeah, there's like stairs I can walk up. <clears throat> We'll go over here, see if there's people, if there's not, then we'll go up here. I need to work on my upper body strength. Something. Um. Okay, doesn't look like anybody's here. Let's, uh, oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Um, I guess we're going up or then. What I say is, like, go to PDM, uh, or PB, uh, Pillbox Medical. I don't say upper or lower. Well, I'm assuming we're going upper.
Oh shoot, I forgot to change the uh the game. Um There we go. Okay, I gotta look at this again. Ah, oh, man. Um... This is... This is insane, like... I went in there. Hey, how's it going, man? <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out where the hell we're getting. Just waking up. Oh, man. Oh, man, 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 man. Okay, that's weird because I was at PBM. Okay, let's uh let's go up or then.
has but awakened us. Uh, I'm kidding. What do you what do you mean? What do you mean is your twitch plugged out? Shit. Damn it. Just went right past me. Come on, stupid red light. I'm just curious, why do, why do you think your uh, Twitch is bugged out? You call Cap, what? <clears throat> I assume we want to be on duty for this. Gotta go, go, pet. pet. Left, Left, east, east Berlin, 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 Berlin. Um, he is armed with a class 2 firearm. I mean, he's most likely let me go in for swap. No, we're going to get out of the little soul area before we start getting aggressive. The last thing we want to do is get aggressive with a little soul when we're all out here. Hey, hey firm. Continue West Batman vs. Bucci. Sorry, sorry, from this area. Find that in there? No. No. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't, I can't have, have that. that. No, no, it's nice. Oh, I'm getting it in my This is strange. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 No, 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 maybe when you're in the Twitter, right? Twitter, right? No, no, no way. way. Good. Good. Can't be weird. weird. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I yeah. Oh, I see it. I feel I feel like the driving part's gonna be my worst thing. Okay, good. Okay, Duke. Wait, how do I have an echo? Uh, I shouldn't have an echo. Um, hello? Um, weird.
Do I have my stream up? Nope, nope. Don't have my stream up. That is, that is weird. I, I don't notice an echo. He was, he was walking, walking but I'm dragging him anyway. Uh, roll call. Well, well Fox. Fox. Here. Right, right, Jeet. Here. And the other was right, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Hmm. That's weird. Alfie. Alfie. You know, you know it. it. Arthur. Yo. Yo. Sadie. Sadie. Hello. Hello. Uh, let's, let's see. see. It, it was sunny, sunny as, as well. well. Here. Here. Leo, Leo, you. Who else, Who else do we do have, we have uh, that is going to be a trainee, trainee here? Who's, who's getting taught? Is it just, is it just who's, six? Who's, who's a, monkey? a monkey? Don't worry, Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, oh, who's this? That's weird. Who's this ugly piece of shit, huh? Oh, jeez. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's the man with the black jacket? But no, you had to go there. Alright, All right, uh, our instructors. instructors. We, have we have Randy, Randy myself, myself a you, who else? Who else? Ariel, Ariel sisters. Sisters. Let's see how this goes, Ariel. man. I don't, I, honestly, I don't feel like my driving's up to snuff. I can, I can if you need an instructor. No, no. <laughs> Alright, All right, we, we have four instructors, instructors six, six trainees. trainees. Let me Let check, check the story. Yep, yep. Four, four instructors, instructors six, six trainees, trainees. We'll, we'll split you guys into four, four groups. So the one instructor wants to set up. Uh, uh, we're gonna, gonna loop two, two trainees, trainees together who have, have a little, a little bit, bit more experience. More experience so, so. Uh, would, would probably be me since I'll be alone. Oh, oh. Okay. yeah, yeah Sunny can, can also be looped up with someone as well. well. It's not, it's not Ooh. Uh, uh Randy, Randy covered, covered the other, other stuff while, while I get this team, team thing, thing set up. Oh, oh, that hurt. Come cover uh, anything on your uh, pre list, -list module. module thing. I have a, I have a dumb, dumb question. question. Uh, sure, sure, what's, what's a dumb question? question? Do we 311 that we're on duty or not? Not right now. No, no. 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 normally, yes, yes, but right now, now you've not done it. I don't care. They have, they have signed on on the, the, uh, the clipboard. Yeah, you, know you know what? what? No. All, all of you right, right now. Do you where's that echo coming from? from? And then, and then write a cat. All, all of you. Now, fuck, fuck no. no. Just, 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 just say, say it already, <laughs> please. <laughs> it would be great. It would. Where is it coming from? Okay, can you hear me now? Dick. Oh god. No, we're not fucked. Oh god. Everyone's oh my god. Can you still hear me? I've done it now. There's no going back. Uh, can I get an 07 in chat if you guys can hear me? Okay, I'm just making sure because I switched to another thing. Can everybody uh, open a radio? Can you turn on your radio? Yes. You know what? Everyone do it now. Open your radio. Go to channel Ooh. nine if you haven't already. Yeah, everybody should yep, be on channel nine right now. All right, I'm gonna go Can't down the try. list, and I better hear everybody on radio. Tango twenty five. Just say here. Here. Tango fifty six. What's up? Tango sixty eight. Ten four. Tango twenty four. Twenty-four. Shit, here. Tango seventy-six. Here. Tango twenty. Wait, I'm having issues with my radio. What was that? God damn it, Sadie. Oh. Mechanic. Do you have a Do you have a regular radio? Oh, okay, I think it might have been something else I had no. switched over. I can't 
can't hear it. Like, yeah. So I can play <clears> my radio, <throat> but I can't hear anybody. Am I? Am I call sign in there? Yeah, try turning it off that way. Have you tried to do it on non no, That's actually go. the solution hey, um, to everything tech from long. Tango 83. Oh shit. Hey, William. Ah <sighs> shit. Uh, I'm I'm here. Is your radio working? Uh one, one sec. Uh, ten four. I'm here. I cannot hear you on radio. Channel nine. Um. Shit. Why did I go to? Don't tell me he did it on two. <laughs> he probably did. Uh, ten four. I'm here. All right, all right. All right. Does everybody have uh your ability to do medical? Yo. Do you, you understand that muscle? Can you all do it for me? Yes, everyone come to me and spam Lace and spikes. bandages, Lace and spikes for please. Me. I need bandages. Spam um, bandages, every single one of you. I know I'm Wait, why am I not getting the bandages? I'm forcing medical on you. You are I in a wheelchair. Not, don't fall, don't yeah, you can't, bandages. you're in a vehicle. God damn it. Ugh. Can everybody escort somebody? No, not me! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Ratchy. Um, I can't put you down! Can't get around it. Shit. Uh, Riv, you can escort two people again. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I can still carry people. That's kind of weird. Right. No, no, no. That's that's, only, that's if you scuff it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. That's I will scuff the fuck up. Weird. Okay, no, no I don't, please don't. Don't do that, Randy. Um, please, okay. There is a way that you can help people up if you bind that, you know. Get do not. Go. That shit. Just don't. Don't do please it. Bad don't. idea. F1 muscles for that shit. Saves a lot of headaches. Uh, do you guys all, well, you don't need to know this muscle, but your radio volume and radio channels, super, super helpful. Highly recommend that. Um, but everybody got that? Everybody good with muscles? Uh, yeah. Speak now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good with muscles. Don't be, don't be mad. Not really. All right. All right. Uh, Randy, Michael, Ooh, yeah. you, myself, all grab an amble, bring it over here. I got one already. I've got a number. Uh, I've got a number. That's Ariel over there. Okay, good. Uh, do you have the keys to it? Not yet. Oh, man. That's gonna come to stuff. She's still at I'm just gonna. All right, oh. you go fix that problem. All right. Come here. Can I can just lock pick it for you. I mean, you can get a lock pick. Uh, yeah, uh, fine. All right. Everyone has their call signs. Check. Everyone has their uniforms. Check. I assume everyone's able to. Open up a gov view dispatch. <laughs> Does anybody have issues doing that? All right, everybody can take out the radio. Everybody can respond in it. That's good. Yeah. Let me call Does it, everybody has dispatch uh, muscle, right? No. None of you are using the F1 muscles for dispatch. Good, good. That's fucking okay. hell. So here's how it's gonna work. First, we're gonna do some like drills such as how to dispatch it's on the cheat sheet oh I'll I'll be referring to that right now first thing is the dispatch portion of it it has the simple okay. 10 codes and whatnot for you guys so refer to that so if I said hey I'm 76 to this location Cheat sheet says 76. Oh, that means you're en route. Mm. Simple stuff like that. It also has ways to respond to 911s, 52s, and 13s. For instance, I'm having like one, a 911 one message comes in, you would say, Tango, whatever your call sign, 76 911. Pretty simple. When you arrive on scene, uh, lady, uh, Tango, later, whatever, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. It's nothing like major. I, I, you arrived on scene. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right before I uh, back to the end up with some rotten tangle whatever call sign is. 76 PBM, which stands for Pillbox Medical. The amount of people that are injured, 47s. 47s meaning injured people. So an example would be we're taking one injured person back to the hospital. Tango whatever, 76 Pillbox Medical, X147. 
Finally, when we arrive back in hospital, we are Tango whatever, 23 pillbox medical, 10-8. 10-8 meaning back in service. I don't want you guys to say back, back in service, please. I'll shoot you. He actually will as well. Yeah, that's the one thing I only give a shit about. I don't give a shit how you treat people. Just don't say back, back in service. Back 10-8 is a big no. Let's talk about one more thing. It's the Hey You, It's Me dispatch system. If I wanted to get Randy's attention over the radio, I would say... Echo 49 from Hotel 52. You want to say their identifier first at all times. That way they know to I listen learned this to the back radio. On, uh, because there's so much RRB. radio clatter and clutter Beacon. that it's hard to tell. Your ears will perk when people call your name or your call sign. That's when you know you need to focus and pay attention. Let's move on to the patient care portion. Dr. ABC is pretty much a mathematical formula, if you will, on what you should treat first. It's like bed mass. Danger. The D in Dr. ABC means, well, danger. You want to get patients out of <coughs> roads, mm. biological hazards. If there's gunshots everywhere, you want to grab them out of there and move them. I do apologize. Safer. Most of this is probably going to be Next boring, but I got to do this conscious. stuff. It's less important in this city, but other places, this is obviously a big thing you need to worry about. Next up, airways. If they can't breathe, they're dying. So make them breathe again. This would involve the Heimlich maneuver, sending a tube in to remove whatever's clogged up in their windpipe, epinephrine if they are suffering from allergic reaction, and paramedics can stuff a tube down your throat and force you to breathe as well. After airways, you want to check for breathing, because once again, if they're not breathing, that's not good. People need to breathe. Finally, circulation. If their pulse is low, that's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Check their pulse, make sure they're not bleeding to hell. You'd want to, well, d stop the bleeding, but that's the least important of Dr. ABC. Now, let's all get into an ambulance and begin the drive. If you open up, yep. Oh, that was sure, never mind. Hey, no, no, nope, nope, hold on, hold on. Never mind. <laughs> All right, uh, Ariel is going to detour with uh, her trainee, but hold on, hold on. I need to break you guys up first. Yep, yep. Rajat, Alfie, go with Randy. Your team one, channel nine point one. You'll swap that later. Team 2 is Will Fox. You'll be with Ariel, so go with Ariel right now. Uh, team 3 is Sunny. You'll be with Ayu. And Team hi. 4 is going to be Sadie and Arthur, which will be with me for the first part. Alright. Oh, yeah. Everybody find your instructors, find your FTOs. Right, Stay on go. channel 9. Uh, um, I think your name was yo. Lucas, right? Uh, are you uh, Are you Ariel? Alright, uh, you can... Mike? Uh, Randy. No. Wait, just... Let's go. I want to get Randy. Randy. Are you on Randy? No, I'm, I'm not Alfie. We're on radio um. Well, I'm go A3 over here. Well. Hop in. We'll have you switch at Uwu. You're Will, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell me, man. What's that other 911? I didn't see it. Let me see. Got hit by a car. All right, we we can't go to every one of them, or we're not gonna be able to do everything. Uh. God damn it. God damn it, the city. The hit by a car doesn't have a location dispatch, so gotta. I mean, it's, pin it down. It's in the north. Uh. Uh, north, is it though? I think it's, it's in the north near... part of the city. It's near yeah, I know, but time. it's it's gonna be okay. like most of the stuff is academy shit. So it's most most of the stuff I gotta learn in in order to one day like. Nor am I running into things at the moment. I don't I don't see yeah, myself doing this on stream Street. until I'm either like clear to I'll go solo, or like okay. I feel confident like in doing this stuff. 
and then we're gonna pick that person up, uh, and we're gonna dip out of the city into the. Uh, the I circle. think two people here from this academy were earlier at the academy. Another one. Okay. okay. Any chance you could stop doing that? <laughs> they should stop have jumping in. Stop diving board. Stop it, though. Please. I'm gonna go ahead and get you on your feet board. here. That's a door. And have a good day, okay? <laughs> Thank you. But Sorry. We're, set up Sorry we're trying to we're trying to start our EMS academy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I know the driving stuff is gonna be my, my weakness. Okay, um, where was this other one? Exactly where I got it. Okay, cool. Uh, so what I was saying, we have two trainees that were also in the sh Ship Thing 3 yesterday. Academy. No, no, okay. no, the, the, the second one, and I was with Val, and she didn't have any modules, so we joined okay. one of yours and one of Randy's, so that's gotta got be important. Because okay. those trainees already had those. Well, they'll just get to do it again. Uh, the same thing happened with uh, Talia's yoinked one of my modules yesterday, and uh, and um, the the fire the uh, gas station explosion. We'll see how we'll see how this goes. If we if we not end up not getting getting further than just what cadet, we're then it's fine. But is, uh, switch spots with me, Will. Oh, shit. Have you said anything, Will? What the Sorry, hang on. I did the stupid thing. Get in the yeah. driver's seat. Will, are you there? Could you speak to me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. I hadn't heard you say a single word. Sorry. Uh, so, I would like you to get on the highway um, over here. I'll begin the loop. Uh, have you looked at the map that's in the uh, academy modules? Sheet. Yeah, I have. Okay. Go ahead and go to that entrance to the highway right there, and we're going to go and do that loop around the, uh, you know, good portion of the city and island. Question What type of GPS are you using on your phone? Are you using the rectangular one or are you using the run one? That changing that requires an app, so right now we're just going to uh, deal it, with it. It doesn't, but uh, I had issues with trainees that didn't really follow the GPS, and I was like, oh, that's that's curious, because they were using the circular one, and it fucks with people. Got it. All right, stop right here. Um, okay, so do you know what this exercise is, what we're doing here right now? Um, let me, let me uh, take one sec. Okay. Oh, shit. And if you okay. don't know, I can tell you what switches the lights. Okay. Um, yeah, I have uh, kind of pulled up, but I'm, I've had this feel, feeling that I, I, I may get a little lost. Okay. Well, that's what... Uh, it'll be fine. Um, go ahead and uh, turn off the lights. Do you need to know how to turn off the lights? Okay, cool. Uh, do you know the difference between code one, code two, and code three? Uh, code one is. Uh... You don't need to tell me. Just say yes. Oh yeah. Or no. Okay. Cool. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be switching between those different ones as we drive around this course. So, hop on the highway here, and I'll just set the GPS to the first point where it's going to matter to turn. Okay. Sorry about that. I just, uh, we were falling Ooh. behind a little. And go ahead and go code three right now. This is code two. Uh, to get the sirens on, you have to have the lights on. And there you go. You can also cycle through the different sirens with the R uh, button there on the dash. And. The second one is my favorite. Third one, nobody likes at all. This is a heads up. Okay, so we're going, we're going, and I'm gonna just be having you switch between different, like, uh, code one, code two, code three, etc. okay? Okay. 
sorry, just uh, because we had to go to the call and everybody else is already starting, I don't want us to fall super behind because that's kind of what happened yesterday is the first person I had with me didn't even have their um, muscles memorized for, you know, helping people up and all those things. Oh. So we had to stop and do all that too. I don't know if you, uh, if you've had any shifts before today. Um, small shifts. Okay, then you should have your muscles already sorted out. Most, most of them, yeah. Okay, just being able to like escort somebody right away without having to, you know, put them in the ambulance, all those things like that. Cool. All right, code two. Go ahead and code three again. <sighs> you know, I partly want to just go on Twatter and tell the city, hey, please stop doing dumb stuff for today, but then that would just make them do dumb stuff more, so. Yeah, it's like a bunch of three-year-olds. You don't tell oh, them that, because they'll do it even more. Because we've had two people jump off the roof of Uwu into the quote-unquote pool, which is just a hole in the ground with a bunch of water in it. That's not very like, cash money and of they them. And hurt, they've hurt their legs or something when landing in the in the shallow part of the water. Yeah, I wonder oh, why. Okay. I'm, I'm... And so I was just like, could you just not jump off the roof? Okay, go ahead and code one. <sighs> okay. And what Michael was asking you earlier was, what shape is your GPS right now? Uh, circle. Got it. So, the circle one oftentimes has some glitchy uh, misalignments and stuff. It's abstract. That... Is that the case with you? Uh, yeah. Okay, there's a way to fix it. Okay. And it's, uh, we'll, we'll show you later, but uh, I think you have to nap to fix it, uh, honestly, but... No, I did it without napping. You just gotta do it in, in the car itself, then you get out of the car and get in again. Oh, really? Okay, maybe yeah. that'll do it. Uh, but it makes it a rectangle, and it fixes the misalignment situation. GPS aligns with roads again. All right, I want you to go code two, uh, and shortly up here we're going to be turning off the road. Oh. So about where the marker is, go to the right. So just right Those off trees. here into these trees here. Okay, and then get down to that road there. We'll get rid of the marker. We're going the high road there. Okay. Ellie, you're doing this. You're doing this. Code three. <laughs> also, through here, you want to make sure you don't uh, go too fast because you will fall off the road. Okay. I've been hoping and dreaming for months that someday we would get an off-road ambulance, but I don't think I'm ever going to realize my dream. Not happening. I know. Our house is as good as it gets for us, for us right now. Well, I know we're supposed to be getting a, another house. Yeah, it's just set. like... We wait oh shit! Does. Okay. Not, um, no so way. yeah, sorry for the lack of talking right now, but I'm just I'm trying not to uh, crash. Wish we had more forty sevens. 
man, this is the second one. I'm gonna do two, like we did before. Like, I, I was the only one. Okay, um, down, down the mountain we go. During the last academy. So I improvised the the two from. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Pally, you can do this. I just cut out the third one. Ah, shit. Uh, that's fair. I mixed them. Uh, hey, Charlie, what's up? Um, what are you up to today? Okay. Uh, see, I I am doing um EMS Academy. Okay. Okay. It's looking looking good. Um, maybe. Once, if, if, if he has to do his, oh shit. I think I'm vocals. It'd be a couple hours, but don't worry about it. Uh, maybe if, um, like, I get to, like, be in the back and he does his, his one, then I can talk to you guys a little bit more. Yep, see, I was trying to see if anybody was just around But, uh, I, I just, I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, decorating houses. Make a, sorry, make, will make a right here and go code two. Uh, who in, do you mean by anyone? Uh, you said Luna? Is Luna awake? I have not seen her, no. Um. Go straight. Okay. Okay, bye. Straight towards city, basically. Send it. Sorry, I was calling a couple people, see if I can have people play, uh, bodies for a couple bit hours. You're just going through here. Just as a heads up, with Code 2, you can pretty much drive about the same speed as Code 3, slightly less. Um, but you're able to go through you know, intersections. When you're going through an intersection, you should be honking your phone. Just because it lets people know that they, if they're coming the other direction, that you're coming. Gotcha. But you're not full on sending it with the, the sirens and stuff because you're not necessarily rushing to an emergency. You might be just kind of hurrying to go stand by somewhere. Or maybe you're hurrying because you really need to get gas in your ambulance uh, and you don't want it to take forever to get there and then you end up not getting gas in your ambulance because you get another call in the time. So that's kind of why I use it is to get to doing things faster when I'm on duty so that I don't get stuck in the middle of like a repair just because it took me forever to drive there. Gotcha. Go ahead and go code three again. And when you get up here in a little bit, you're going to be turning and uh, getting on the highway to go to pillbox slower. A firm. <coughs> Stop here, just keep going when you're going down to lower pillbox. And four. And you're gonna switch to code two. Oh. <laughs> There's a smoke for that. <sighs> Shit. No, we we were doing so well until that point. And just as a heads up. When you're escorting a, when you have a um, suspect as an injured person, you'll oftentimes be bringing them into lower pillbox, which is right here to your right. You would enter in, and you'd go down to the garage. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use Benny's while we go in there. But go ahead, go for, and go ahead and open the door. Do you know how to open the door? There you go. Benny's is in the corner to your left. Uh, back corner to your left, where it says keep clear. Oh. Oh, 
shit. Go ahead and do the repair, and then we'll be moving on. Oh shit, I, I cancelled it out before it was done. Alright. Be sure to lock the door on your way out. As you roll through here, just hit the lock button again and it should close. Did you get it? Help, try it again. You kinda gotta turn your head and look at the, you know, look gate. at the door. Yeah, uh, is it the same button as the uh, open? Yeah, same one. Um, also, you can do it while not looking, but you have to do it like right as you're leaving the door. So pull back in, pull back in, all the way back, back, back. Back, 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 all the way inside. Inside the door. Roof, wait, if you're cool. Quickie. Now, when you when you pull out, as you're looking forward, when you pull out, mm. just as you're leaving the you know the garage, as your the back end is leaving the garage, go ahead and flex that muscle. Yep. You can go a little faster so you don't get hit by the door on its way down, but you're good. <laughs> Uh, head to upper pillbox and uh, you can do that code key stuff. I'm surprised we have enough uh, instructors on right now uh, with as many trainees are here. Um, so that we don't have two people right now, two trainees with us right now. But That's okay. pretty good. Yeah, I was just trying to think. Um, let's do. We're gonna do the modules in the reverse order for this one. So we'll start with the helicopter one. Go ahead and park here. Yeah, just park uh, to your left um, along the yellow curb inside. Oh, oh shit. Where where we started basically, where you got into the ambulance. There we go. Go ahead and turn off the lights. I would normally do that a lot closer to the yellow curb, but that's fine. All right. Um, so the first module we're going to do is going to be uh, a helicopter jumping scenario. Okay. Okay. You're be jumping out of the helicopter, and you're going to be recovering Michael. Wait, did Michael disappear? God dang it. Michael might have popped, and if that's the case, we don't have our body. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, while we have time, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having fun. Um, up until that last part, I we were we were golden. And I took my eye off the ball for one second, and I hit the local. <laughs> That's good. Depending on how long this takes, um, I can't. I I want to say we we'll, we'll do Minecraft tonight. I can't guarantee it. Like I don't want to sit here and be like, yes, we're gonna be back on the server. Having okay. fun. No answer there. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to see who's around. <clears throat> now, if I do this, it's going to be in the Discord from time to time. So if you guys are around Discord and you want to see me do this stuff. I'm just basically scrolling through Clotter right now, trying to see which of my friends are awake. People I know that I could call. So I don't I don't wanna like get into the habit of mixing this and uh Minecraft. So Hey, oh welcome back. We're gonna do the helicopter one first. Let's go. Alright. Just sign up. Yeah. Oh shit. 
This one's gonna be fun. I'm trying to see if anybody wants to come be a body, but uh, only have you right now, so. Um, I don't have a uh, parachute, so hopefully there's parachutes in there. Or, wait, do I have to be in this one? Otherwise, it's a suicide mission. Yep, yep, yeah, that's right. Try not to drink so much tea because that shit just runs through you. And I really want to be available for all these. Like outside, like mowing lawns right now. That shit's annoying as fuck. Okay, so this would be basically a scenario where uh, a flight call came in. There's a flight certified uh, medic on duty, and they uh, ask you to go with them to be a jumper. And that means you're going to be jumping out to get the person. You're going to be trying to uh, secure them uh, with a seat collar and uh, spinal board before you get them back into the helicopter. And then you can further do the rest of your patient care after you're in the helicopter. I will not be landing. You're having to secure them and get them back into the helicopter while you are, uh, while I am hovering. So this person has fallen down the mountain. Also, Will, you are quite quiet. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um... I have a question though. Like, do are we sure. do we have like a repel down or like is there? No. Usually you'll be jumping out, uh, and I'll be getting you as close to the ground as possible. Uh, okay. But Michael's about to uh, do an example of what you know. If I couldn't get you completely right next to the ground, this is what it would uh, be like right now. Three, two, one. Michael, go. Okay. Basically that. We uh, wish we had a repel down, but we don't. Okay, yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to go because, like, obviously it's probably low enough that I'm not going to need, like, any sort of, like, shoot or anything like that, but... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we try to get you where you can just step right out of the helicopter, and mm -hmm. I could have done it right there, but I... Uh, was just showing you an example of if I'm 15 feet off the ground, you can still jump it pretty no problem, you know? Yeah. Um, Josie, you probably not going to be able to summon any chickens, or even if you do, it's not going to work. So we'd be coming along the mountain here, and this, the other reason you'd be with is so you'd be an extra pair of eyes to try to help us find the injured person. So we'd be going, and oh, there they are. Okay. And so what you're going to do is you're going to get out okay. and you're going to secure them in a seat collar and on a spinal board because they fell down the mountain. But because you're on a treacherous, like, 
you know, slope and everything, it's best usually to not sit there and do too much of the patient care. Okay. So what we do is we secure them and we get them in the helicopter and then in transit, uh, you go ahead and complete a lot of the patient care in the back of the helicopter. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you out at a spot where you can get down to them, secure them, and then you're gonna try to come to the same spot to, uh, to get them, uh, back in, okay? So go ahead and get out, uh, in three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, sir, I'm gonna get a uh, seat cover on you and get, make sure you get uh, on a board uh, so we can get you transported back to the box, okay? Yeah. Alright. Um. Shit. 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 Okay. And okay, so I'm gonna roll you over on three, two, one, onto the onto the uh, board. I'm gonna raising your neck. Hopefully, we can get you secured and up there. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so right now we're going to try and get you back into the, the, uh, the helicopter and get you up to the fuel box, okay? We're going to get you there as soon as again, and, uh, we'll also tune anything on the, on the way over, okay? Ten four. Go for it when you can, okay? Okay. There we go. And hop in yourself. Oh. Okay, sir. Uh, so we know did notice some swelling. Um, you have some labored breathing. Um, I'm gonna get a uh, an oxygen mask on you. Should help with uh, the breathing a little bit. Um, no, I'm gonna note some uh, bruising on your lower torso as well. Um, so uh, let me get that mask for you real quick. So uh, I'm going to keep pressing this uh, on uh, intervals. Um, this is just allowing you to, to breathe a little bit better uh, until we can get you over to Pellbox and we can get you uh, checked out. Um, as far as the, the swelling, um, that could probably go down, uh, but the uh, the doctor on duty will know if it's something that's something in addition to uh, the swelling that's causing it. I, I understand that, sir. Um, we're trying to get you there as soon as we can, okay? Uh, can you tell me anything else other than uh, your, your the, the fact that we I, I noticed some swelling on you? Anything else? Uh, like, does your back hurt? Can you move your toes? Move, move your hands? Um, as a, probably as a result of the, the fall, maybe like, uh, uh, like bruising. Okay. I mean, it was, um, what do you think is resulting in this fall? Uh, shit. I'm not entirely sure um okay. uh, the gist is uh, the patient fell down the mountain and they broke their arm so you would want to uh, secure that with a brace or a splint uh, as well 
Okay. But you wouldn't necessarily have uh, the knowledge that it's like, oh, their arm is broken. You might just see that they're swelling and have to speculate on that. And even if their arm it didn't turn out to be broken, if you if you saw something that could be a break, it's always best to like splint it or you know put it in a brace for transport. Okay. Also, whatever someone is cut up, you can just you know clean those out with Taylor and just bandage them over real quick. Pretty good job. The uh, the the biggest part of this uh, module is the uh, training, getting out of the helicopter and loading somebody in while it's hovering. The patient care is kind of secondary for this module. Okay. And don't um, take out any patients while someone is refueling your helicopter. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a key thing. Sometimes if you pull somebody out before, like as I'm refueling or something, it can cause the helicopter to explode. Oh. That's kind of more on me to not start refueling till the patients are out. Okay. And then uh, you would take the patient down and you'd relay to the doctors uh, what it is that you, uh, what you did to treat them in transit, you know? Uh, yesterday we were kind of messing with doctors a little bit and bringing, uh, bringing EMS or other people into the hospital lobby and just being like, this is what happened to them, blah, 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 blah. And the doctors were like, wait, wait, what happened? What? And they thought we were for reals. They didn't realize it was part of, uh, part of the academy. Okay. So uh, should I take him down? Uh, yeah, bring him down. Uh, just in case there's a doctor on duty. I don't know if there is though. It might just be Nancy. I but it's still I've seen good Harlow to. Ooh. Yeah, good. Harlow's not necessarily on duty though. Um, second floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks like it's just Nancy. So we'll practice just relaying the information to Nancy of what happened to the patient, what you did to try to take care of them. Nancy's here, right here. Oh, very true. Uh, um, I agree Nancy, with you. Uh, we uh, have found this uh, individual out on the uh, uh, mountains. Uh, they had Aerial, suffered a fall uh, from a good distance I, I do above. No. Okay. Uh, we uh, ascertained the injuries, put a C collar to brace for any sort of neck injury, brain injury. Uh, as well as we got them on a uh, board uh, and got them back into the uh, helicopter. Uh, he did note we did note some bruising on the uh, upper and lower torso. Uh, it was a second opinion that it may have been a uh, injured arm as well that may have been causing that. Uh, he is noticing a good bit of pain. He might need some help with that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's it. Let him go, and we'll get to the next one. One thing you uh, might Michael, want to mention during Michael, the end I of... Just, yep. oh, yeah. Uh, just mention, like, the first thing that's, like, most important is the state of the patient. Like, is he conscious? Is he breathing? Like, you know? Just, okay. uh, if he was conscious all the time, did he lose consciousness throughout, and, like, you know, yeah. did he gain it? Let me, uh, let me show you an example of what I would have said for this situation. Uh, I would have been, like, um... Hi there, doctor. Uh, the, we recovered this man off of the mountain. He fell down, uh, noticed some severe swelling on his arm. He is conscious, uh, and the arm may be broken. I put it in a splint. We cleaned up the rest of the cuts and bruises. Uh, got some ice packs on there as well, keep down swelling, and uh, started him on an IV. Uh, the C collar and the uh, spinal board, less important, just because those are more for us to transport them here. Okay. Um, not necessarily something the doctors need to know as part of their treatment, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Yep, I understand. Because, like, the doctors don't necessarily need to know that he was secured um, in the ambulance, which is uh, 
uh, yeah, something. Luna might be asking me to retreat out to cover the city. So okay. that might be suboptimal. Got to see what she responds to. Uh, yeah, because I don't I then have anybody. Uh, but anyways, Luna is saying, is Luna awake? Mm, I don't know if she's awake. I think she is waiting for EMS train. So mm -hmm. I'm on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm a buddy. So she, if she wants to yeah. cover a city, I'm going to... I feel like most of it is going to come with practice. And, uh, and... Do you want to go get that guy in the motorcycle? Uh, oh. Michael? Michael? Yeah. Do you want to just go grab one of the uh, shared ambos and go take care of that 911 right now? Mm, all right. Uh, I will try to find another body uh, in the meantime. Let's see, let's see. So, there's an issue. Michael's being asked to go on uh, on duty, basically responding to calls. Now I don't have a 47. I'm a 47. Do you want to stand in as a body for training uh, what does purposes? That mean? Uh, yeah, sure. You guys, uh, you guys can touch me. That's fine. Uh, basically, it depends on are you uh, good at conveying <laughs> what your injuries are and such? Yeah, absolutely. When you're unconscious? Okay. Oh, uh, it hurts. Okay, I'm going to oh say no God. just based on that right there. <laughs> you know what? I will happily use you. You can be our James Randall. Can you do it, James? I don't sure, him. sure. I I cannot. That's um, your fight. Get out. It's mostly because like we we're trying to get like uh, very serious. Uh, you know, get them yeah, uh, to serious. to learn. Oh yes, all the I'm different... very very serious. Oh <sighs> shit. I am the opposite. No. I am doing SBS scenes. See, yeah, I'm doing serious scenes because they come up sometimes, and if if people can handle the serious scenes, they can handle the SBS scenes. Very true. Tiny. Very true. I I'm. I'm very much agree with that. So what are you, a serious scene or a SBS scene? Why, why am I like getting switched? I think because we made. You. Yeah. Oh, is he talking time. to me? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? You want to be thrown off a roof? No, I, I, I actually can't. I have to uh, go water my weed in 20 minutes. Oh, go water your weed in 20 minutes. Hey, PD, this All guy's right. a job uh, dealer in well, uh, I got a plan for this, so let's go. I'm going to be the uh, 47 when we get there, okay? Okay. Hop in, you're driving. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. What? If PD give you shit for not 311 that you're on the academy, fuck them. We 311 them, they still tried to shout that. We said it a bunch. We said it a whole bunch. Yeah, they tried to go to the Russian dots because they saw EMS down there. Do we get free ketamine? Not you. <laughs> yeah, Excuse so me. You need to go on, our go on your radio and tell you what the fuck you're doing. Tell them to fuck off. We free the one day about it an hour ago. That is my announcement. Why are you in a wheelchair, sir? Uh, I broke both my legs. I fell down the mountain. Why? Why did I fall down a mountain? Yeah, yeah. Because I slipped. Someone push you? I slipped. Oh, okay, yeah, that sucked. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Hello, what's up? What's up? I think, uh, I think I have to go. Alright, I'll try to. I lost my 47, though, so I'm to trying do, to uh, uh, do be myself as the 47. Hmm. We're, we're going to do it really quick. We'll be back star. in like five. Nice. I'm proud of you. Phone her. Yeah, like 10 to. Alright, uh, Will, you get a 911. Help, my friends all exploded in an accident at uh, the Clinton Avenue uh, gas station. You got this, Will. Send EMS. Oh, shit. Are you on coke? Um. Oh, shit. I don't know what Clinton. I, I don't know where Clinton Avenue is. Okay, uh, give me a second. Okay. And they're gonna call the cops on me. I need to stay. Yeah. 
I mean, obviously it's a gas station. Sorry, I was trying to deal with uh, possibly having to say something to have us. Uh, is this gas station here? You would then you know how to do your responses and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, give me just over um, the blue cloud. You know the local blue cloud. You know what I'm talking about? Use the local blue cloud. Yeah. O O C local. O O C L. Uh, then give me a like nine one one R to. Uh. There. Uh, see, I said help gas explosion. So give me an uh, uh, nine one one R to two eight nine, which is my number today, and that's how you would respond to a nine one one. And then that would be how you, because you got to be able to know how to like claim it. And I want you to say EMS and root. All right. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Uh, not quite it, but that's fine. You, you basically be doing, uh, Like that because the the numbers wouldn't show up in the message uh okay. it's just to respond to that number right okay. okay okay uh now go to the ping we're doing this quick quick uh full yeah we're going to an emergency go 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 code three sorry we we were supposed to have like 15 minutes for each of these things but the city is being stupid yesterday and today. And I'm going to give you a couple of injuries for this person, um, but I'm going to do it over. Um, you know, I'm just going to be laying on the ground. So you arrive, and the patient is on the ground. Give me a second. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, can you hear me? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, um. Okay, ma'am, what I'm going to do is we're going to try and get you uh, back up. Um. <sighs> Notice some labor breathing, some uh, shrapnel on your chest. Um. Uh, let me uh, try and uh, see if I can get that out. <sighs> um, I do not want to get it out. Oh, shit. Um, if there is shrapnel in somebody, you always leave that in position. You just want to clean around it, and you want to secure it with bandages to hold it in place. Okay, so, uh, okay, um, went, in, went ahead and, uh, we, okay, got the, uh, area cleaned out, got it, uh, braced the bandage, uh, hopefully that will, uh, be okay until we, uh, get you up there. Uh, let me, like, let me see, I don't see anything other than the swelling, uh, on, on the lower leg, um, let me, uh, see if there's anything else. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put a seat collar and get you uh, on a board just to be on the safe side, uh, since we I can't ascertain as to the severity. Um, I think I got some uh, cream that I can at least and some bandages I can put on that those burns to at least uh, keep them uh, sanitary so we can get you over the pillbox. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, uh, we're gonna head back. Mostly, uh, there's just, um, we don't have a lot of time. Um, sorry that you didn't get a full experience of this one and stuff. I will give you a couple notes, uh, just in general. Okay, hang on. Uh -huh. supposed to be driving. Um, hop in the driver's seat. Get us back to pillbox. Um, some notes, and I know that uh, you're still pretty new to this. Is this your first, like, have you had a shift yet? You said you did, right? I had a few, but, okay. like, not many, uh, like, situational stuff. Okay. I just mean, like, you should, like, know t by now uh, if you had some shifts to, like, when you get on scene, you go up to the patient, you kneel down next to them, you know, and you look at over their wounds, you know, just the general gist of, like, patient care. Have you been in, how long have you been in the city? Um, on and off, about a year. Like, I, I okay. struggle to get into the city. I get you, I get you. And have you, uh, have you experienced getting hurt much, and had EMS respond to come help you? Uh, only once. Okay, got it. I was gonna say, because you do want to do what you've seen EMS do and stuff like that. Okay, um, yeah, they shouldn't be parked there. I don't know what's going on with the person standing at the end of this. <sighs> Go ahead and park on the curb here. Back up to it. Do you know how to swing the back end of the car around? Uh, negative. Okay, um, I'll tell you right now, actually. Um, so go ahead and pull forward. Uh, back up, like, into the open space between the ambos. Sorry, the open, sorry, my bad. Uh, I meant, like, um, angle yourself so the front of the ambo is against the curb, and the rest of it is, like, pointing towards the red ambos. Okay, okay, Ariel. go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have to uh, let's stop. see. We're swapping you with... Uh, let's yeah. See. Okay. Are we swapping instructors around or what? We're... You're taking a different training right now. Um. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. You're taking Ralphie and Rajit. So okay. you take these two. R Ralphie? Ralphie. Okay. No, not Ralphie. Uh, Alfie. Alfie and Rajit. Got it. All right. I'm gonna drive uh, this Will, go ahead and hop out. That's okay with you. You, you driving, buddy? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> uh, you guys can be in the front. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking okay. Sunny. Are we, are we on. Are we uh, doing Instructor modules or are we state? on duty? Uh, do you take the on duty one? Okay. Take the. One on the beach, and then when you're done with that, continue your module. Okay, bye. Let's All go right, to the beach. Uh, and I've got William, I think. Right. Who am I with now? Uh, you are with Sadie. That Sadie and Randy, and Will and Ayub. Yo, and Will! Liz. Let's go. Right, let's go. Hey. Nice to meet you, sir. You see, when you enter a door with high speed, you can go through the door. Because it's momentum? Well done. Uh, we're going up top or down below? Uh... Shit. <clears throat> okay, obviously I went the wrong one. So, I gotta work on patient care. Oh. Hello. Nice of you to meet you. Hello. <laughs> right this way, you're driving. 
Oh, fuck. Well, then we'll fail, but I will attempt to do an extractor in, but we'll probably fail miserably. I well, can't be any better than I've been doing so far. It'll be fine. Hey, let's be, uh, charge Pro 2 for a little bit. Wait, you're on, the, you're on the channel, right? Six point nine point three. Um, you said code two, right? Yeah. Wait, you're on nine point three, right? Oh, uh, no. Oh, one sec. Yep. Uh, radio check. 10-2. Oh, it appears you got 311 from DOC. Uh, I thought we don't answer your uh, DOC uh, ones. If they request for you, then you do. Okay. Um... Say on radio. Wait, why did I not? Why did I not? Wait. A one one response. You know what the prism is, right? Yeah, I know, I know where the person is. Just dispatch of radio that you're on work. Uh, shit. Uh, dispatch Tango 83, uh, 76th, uh, Bolenberg Penitentiary. Ow. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Um, I think I know the problem with your ideas. Um, do you, is your radio muscle? Um, <laughs> do you have muscles on your mouse? Fuck it, let's just let's do that. Do you have muscles on your mouse that you can use? Yeah. Use them. Use them for radio and for talking. That will help you a lot. That way you can. Drive and talk. I think I'm gonna change my dispatch to one of the other buttons. Uh, don't actually go into Fallen Brook. Wait. Uh, go left. Because I think there's an active going on there. And hook another left. 
and then stop past the 35 mile per hour semi there. There you go. We'll take it right here. We have entered visitation. There's stuff happening in that bottom bridge, so we're not gonna go in there. Yeah, just up here. I am James Randall. Oh, help me. Help me. My name. I'm scared. I'm scared. I got shot in the shoulder. Okay, yeah, I, I did see you have uh, a, a gunshot in the shoulder. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pack some gauze in there. In the I, I, I don't know why they shot you in the shoulder, sir. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pack some gauze in there so we can at least stop the bleeding so we can get you uh, back to uh, pillbox and uh, get you uh, checked out. Okay. I'm scared. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make sure that everything is good. I need you to keep talking with me, okay? Um, other than the gunshot, is there anything... Other than the gunshot, is there anything else that... That they, uh, did or... or... Okay, so other than the gunshot, you're, you're fine, okay? I'm okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, on the count of three, I'm gonna get you up, and we're gonna get you into the ambulance, and we're gonna get you back to pillbox, okay? Okay. And one, two, three. Wait, why oh, is Ah, uh, emote. Fuck. Um. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm one, scared. one. <sighs> I'm scared. Why is it not... Ugh, shit. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna... Is, uh, I'm gonna get you on one of the beds in there. I'm gonna get you nice and secure. I'm gonna get you back there, okay? I'll try. Keep, keep talking with me, okay? I need you to keep... I need you guys... I need you to stay... Stay alert and stay awake, okay? Uh, Tango 83, 1076, back to Hillbach Medi Medical with 147. Okay. Yes, yes, my name is James. <laughs> my name is James Randall. I am 83 years of age. You said, freaking locals. You said you're, you're, you're how old? I, I am 83 years old. I come from New Jersey. Ah, uh, I've been to New Jersey before. It's, it's pretty fine up there. Yes, I run away to find a wife. Ah, uh, you know, you sound like someone familiar. Um. I, I can't quite put the name of it. Maybe you're, you ran into a few of my friends or something, but, uh... Who is your friend? Uh, his name is, uh, Scott. Uh, Scott Anderson. Uh, he, uh, oh, played Scott a... Scott Anderson? Yeah, uh... I don't know. Okay, well... I will shoot him. He... No, you can't shoot him. He's a, he's a nice guy. Okay. But, but I have to defend myself. Well, he's not gonna hurt a fly. He, he... Barely, barely swats a fly. Why? Why would he shoot you? Will he let me drive? Um, are you competent behind the wheel? Do you have a license? Valid license for standing? Yeah, I, I would drive. No, no, no. You need to be able to be certified drive. to drive it in in the country. You can't just say I'm gonna get behind the wheel of a vehicle. There's a lot of people on the road. Yes, yes, yes. I will drive.
So there's a lot of shit that I need to learn. That I need to get better at. <clears throat> Patient care is one of them. Hey, sir, we've arrived here at Pillbox. Let me get you out of there, okay? Alrighty, I'm just saying. Um, hey, Chad, uh, right. Driving needs work. What else? Um, dispatch, yes. Yeah, so right. We didn't even dispatch that we were here. Yeah. Wait, this is your first shift, or? Basically, yeah. Can I have an ouchie pack? Please. You want an ouchie pack? I do want an ouchie pack. Here's your ouchie and pack. I need all the ouchie packs. All the ouchie packs. Show me how we give her an ouchie pack. I need ouchie packs. Yeah, she needs ouchie packs. Come on, drain the yeah. ouchie packs on the double. Ouchie packs. Ouchie packs. Ouchie packs. Ouchie packs. More ouchie packs. More ouchie packs. Just not More. one. More ouchie packs. All of them. More. All of the ouchie packs. Wait, William, please say you have a more. muscle for this. And you're not doing. <sighs> you, you need a muscle. You, you definitely you, need a muscle. Please say you're using a muscle for this, William. I would say it if I using... was. He needs oh, a good. muscle. Alrighty. Oh my god. Uh, go onto your phone. <laughs> go onto settings. Uh, go onto key bindings on your phone. You're gonna go onto four of them. You're gonna go to government and EMS heal, and you will set a muscle. Once you have done that, spam me bandages. Why is it not working? I cannot hear what you are saying if you are talking. Damn it. Okay, I have it set, and I'm pressing the button on my muscle, and it's not doing nothing. <laughs> I think it's because I'm in an ambulance. I'm in the wheelchair. Do it now. Perfect, carry on. Boom! Easy, done. Well, let's pull it up to be a bit closer. There you go. Yeah, please use that instead of doing what you were doing before. Uh, let's try for a little bit. Yeah, um, patient care. Eh, it's not the worst. It's fine. Ready. Let's try. Where? William. <laughs> Will. Okay. Yeah, what's it called? Um, 
Just drive anywhere I could to. What's it called? Um, driving air eh, could do some work. I got one already. Just drive around. Wait, stop for a quick, for a sec. There we go. Oh look, we got a call to the Mandan block. And they kindly triangulated a call for it to be here. Uh, Tango 83 en route to the last uh, 911 call. What channel are you on? <sighs> what the fuck? Uh, Tango 83 en route to the last 911 call. What were you on before? Um, I'm gonna have to get my muscles figured out before I get back into the city because it keeps sending me to other different channels. That's how you think Chief is cow. You know what, Bundle Cord, stop here. Pull up. Turn off your sirens, we're gonna fix your muscles right now. Uh, go to the way you were before when you were doing your key binds, yeah? So, settings, key bindings, 5M. You're on there, tell me when you're on there, yeah? Okay. Do you have one that says, okay, go to government. Do you have one that says government view dispatch? Um... Uh, yeah, I have it set to my middle, uh, middle button muscle. Which one? Put it uh, on your, put it on the up arrow key. Okay. Do you have EMS heal? Uh, I have it set to caps. Put it on, uh, what's it called? Down. Down key arrow. Okay. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Do you have escort? Um, yeah, it's a uh, left key. Left arrow key, perfect. Force into vehicle? Right arrow key. Perfect. Easy. Radio. Uh, do you have radio open? What is that one? Um... Uh, right control muscle. Yeah, sure, good enough. Push the torch. Wait, how many how many keys do you have in your what's it called? Do you have like any keys on the side of your what's it called? Um, um side of your mouse? I have it's like one through six. On the side of your mouse? Correct. Like there's six like there's numbers or Yeah. So it's set two that you like, put it so that one of them when you are talking normally is that and the other one is your radio push to talk. Heard that, good.
Okay, so we have we should talk Alrighty. set my fifth, fifth muscle. Alpha, do you have page on a page up as a muscle anywhere? Like, do you have that muscle? Page down, page up. Yeah. Alrighty, page up, radio channel up, page down, radio channel down. So when you done that. Okay. Do you have one for radio on and off? Uh, my F11 muscle. Perfect. All right, that's good enough. Uh, you should have everything that you need. I don't think I'll be doing any cuffing. Yeah, you got everything that you need. Uh, hmm. yeah. Go to the pool then. Go back to the pool if you start driving. Dispatch it again. I will unroot. Uh, Tango 83. I'm not, you're not on amping free. What? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Tango 83. Uh, 1076, latest 52. Number one. one. Oh. Mm. It's okay. Um, what else? You see when you do the channel up and channel down, what do you do? Channel down once. See what happens. What's your new radio channel? No, um, muscle. Page down. It's literally doing. Uh, Oh, oh, um, yeah, uh, seven. What channel does it go to? I go. I went down to ten point three and up to seven point three. So you see, it goes up and down by one point zero. Go back to nine point three just by using the up and down. You're on nine point okay. three. Yeah, I'm on nine point three. Go. Easy. All right, it's our driving. That's how you go switch, quickly switch the radio channels. Alright, just pull up here. Cool, uh, there you go. You're 23. Say it. Uh, dispatch Tango 83, 23, latest 911. Woo, easy. Ah! Ah, I'm sorry. Um. I fell. Okay, sir. Um, you are you experiencing any? Can you can you uh, wheel your uh, hands for me, real quick? Yep. Okay, so uh, can you wiggle your toes? Okay, so there is no. It might be some bruising, but there's no break in the uh, spinal cord. Uh, so uh, okay. what I'm gonna do is uh, yes. I'm gonna get a uh, C car on you. Get get you on the board, or the spinal board, and we're gonna get you back to pillbox, okay? Alrighty. This EMS Academy can still mind me. Oh, fuck! I thought you were dying. Yeah. Okay, fuck you then. No. Wow. I said hi. Ow. Okay. So Did I got this. Give me any ice pads for the reason that it hurts. I need ice pads. Okay. Um. No. There we go, I'm gonna get you some ice packs for that. Uh, we're gonna 
actually tape it on, on in place so it doesn't move while we uh, shift you and get you on the board, okay? Alrighty. So, um, I got the board. It's right next to you. I got the spinal, uh, the seat collar on you. Um, on, a, on, a, on the count of three, I'm going to get you on there. And we're going to get you uh, placed back into the uh, Ambo. And we're going to get you back to uh, Pillbox, okay? All right. Um, why is it not letting me... Okay, so are you, are, you, are you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to get you in back in there. Um, there is a uh, nice uh, uh, bed in there that we can lay you on, uh, and we're going to strap you on there so we don't have you moving around, okay? Um, other than the fact that you failed, is there anything else? No, I'm okay. Um, Tango, 83, 76 pillbox with 147, here, 24, uh, 1024. Um, Proceed, I get. Uh, Tango 83, 1076, pillbox medical with 147. Alrighty. Shit, where we at? Oh, I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I'm taking a long scenic ass route. Uh, Tango 83, 23, pillbox medical, uh, with 147. You got a patch up properly? Yeah. You need some patch up with enough room for a car to go through the middle. So it's close to the curb that you can. Yeah. Because otherwise no one can go through the middle and it's just a pain. Eh, good enough. Yeah. Uh, when you're at pillbox, you always want to make sure siren is on the outside. Make sure your lights are on. 
Alrighty, uh, hmm, patient care. Okay, make sure you can put the mice parts for bruising. Check to see if there's any swelling. Swelling might indicate broken bones. You asked to move their fingers and toes. Good work. What else? Yeah, that's cool. This batch is alright. Uh, better. Driving needs a little bit of work. Let's go fast. We've got sirens for a reason. Understood. Perfect. Alrighty. If Riff asks you where I am, I am taking a piss in the toilet. Ten four. Uh, wrap it up when you can. Head back to the hospital. Swap into nine point yep, four. Yep. Uh, I'm just in the, on the test of portable mic. Uh, where would that put what's <laughs> yeah. Crap, I forget what I said. Government yields to. Or... Oh, down. Oh. But yeah, that's how you do that. You did fine on that. Um, you know, if the person is clearly dead, don't even move them from the scene. Don't but, move them? Would yeah. I wait for cops if they, to assess them? If they are dead, dead, like, there is absolutely no chance that you are bringing them back to life. Mm -hmm. um, and they made that very what, Would weird. I do the paperwork, like, on scene? Or? Uh, no, so you would just call the police, let the police do all their shit, and then you would bring them here. That way they can get pictures with the body and stuff like that. Oh, but that oh man. Like if, I'm if off to a rocky start, guys. Leave, not gonna lie. You're not in trouble if you come here. But if there's, like, absolutely no fucking chance of saving them, do not be afraid to just call the police there with the body and just kind of chill for a little bit. All right. Let them do their thing and then come do all that. Uh, the other thing I'll say, too, is if they're not breathing, uh, mm -hmm. put a Lucas device on during transport. Put a what? A Lucas device. Okay. Do you know what Lucas device is? No. <laughs> right, I'll send you one. You'll see. Oh, man. Hmm. I need to go in my head real quick. I mean, I know it's, 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 oh, it's good to know, like, uh, what I'm screwing up so I can, like, work on it, but I need to find time to work on it, you know? Mm -hmm. like, really good CPR. So while you're transporting, hopefully, you can send them. B, A, and A plus some work. <laughs> I don't think half the EMS honestly know what a Lucas device is. It's an like automatic pumping machine. An iron lung yeah, kind of thing? Uh, hmm. Kind of? Much, much smaller. Yeah, it's... Like a modern day one? It's it's like if you need yeah. to consistently. Like, I never got you like really it. hurt while in the city, so it's like I don't like I don't more have this like and EMTs because once you hit paramedic, you can just like happy needle them, intubate them, and if they're not out back from three sticks of adrenaline, then they're fucking dead. <laughs> Would you give Luke's them three machine sticks of the adrenaline? Very <laughs> dead. <laughs> Dead. You defib three times, adrenaline three times. On the third, I'm not sure how many like more specific things we're gonna be them. doing. If this doesn't fix them, they're dead. But if it if it looks like we're like wrapping up with like the next hour or so, I can at least like take a break and then come back and we can uh, do Minecraft. Real. Oh, she returned from a call. But okay. I didn't want to like have the cam going because I would have to have the green screen on, and I didn't want to waste battery. So when Ariel gets back, everyone, all the trains will move up one radio channel or down one if they're at 9.4. So Sunny will take, uh, so Randy will take Sunny. Not sure where everyone else is going.
remember of how's your lemonade business going? Uh, my lemonade stand started working again, so I oh, need to speak with the lifers about cutting some lemons for me, getting the lemon oh. cubes prepared and stuff. Nice. Oh god, he's on top of a tree. Oh. <laughs> Alfie, you're not supposed to be doing that. That tree's not going to be able to support your weight. Seems kind of thin. Oh, where's okay. it you? Not back yet. Not back yet, alright. We answered so like you've... three or four calls and then did a half a module. The city's uh, on let's... fire and being stupid. Ooh. Uh, isn't this uh... really one group that's literally just one calls? Yeah. We were the one doing that this time. Do you want me to break off and actually take some calls? Uh, it's up to you. I did not realize. I need to figure out if there's a way that like I can like I like, uh, yeah, keep buying yeah, yeah. entire emotes Hi. so that I'm not having to go and do that. The yeah, last okay. time you were here, oh, okay. I was okay. just a trainee. That was a dead god. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Yeah. Oh my god. What happened? She fell oh. out of a truck going 10 miles an hour. <gasps> oh my god. god. That's terrible. Why are you apologizing? It's okay. We're doing Academy today, so it's best Who if we have less calls. Fellas? We're sorry that nature exists. Who are you? Yes. Emery. Okay, nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Ariel. Who are you? Who are you? And Sunny. Who are you? Healthy Valentine. Brother Who are Six you? going dark. Bandy. Who are you? Veronica. Uh, he asked what your name was. Veronica? I did not realize that was UV. <laughs> Veronica gaslights a lot. I do not gaslight! Very true. Very true. She's, also, she's, you need to get checked out because she's I'm pretty been sure you have carbon monoxide poisoning. She's been gaslighting me all day. She called me and then said I called <laughs> I her. I didn't call you. You called oh, me. Oh shit. Yeah, and then she told no, me it, that it, it, I'm it. stupid and that I'm dumb. So my driving I, needs work. Not... Patient care needs work, and my radio needs. Work. Wait, wait, wait. Am I? No. Tripping right now. What is? The... I'm a gentleman. All right, guys, let's scholar. focus. Yeah. Let's focus. <laughs> Veronica, oh, stop gaslighting just me, please. Cars. Alfie, Sorry, Alfie and Roger, yeah, you take... Okay. Let's see. Uh, you have your taking Alfie and Roger. Who? The G? I'm taking... Uh, Will? Hello. <laughs> Who are we going with? The drone with me. Oh, oh shit. Sunny. I'm which one's Sunny? I'm pretty Maybe. sure. I mean, yes, you could be an email. I don't know your name. I right, let's go, Sunny. One of our members already that I just don't. Hey, know. who am I with? Yeah, I don't think you're on our roster. Somebody. Who am I taking? I didn't hear. Sadie's Ready, probably taking. Uh, Ariel. Hello. Sadie and Ariel. That's good, just Mask Man. I did lose my. Uh, Rod. Where did Michael go? I thought he was going to be on like normal duty, but then mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we Mike, went to all the calls that just happened just now. Michael wanted to assist with the academy. Then I, did, I just, to, I definitely like. It, 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 all, it all depends on how long this goes. We'll have to play. Well, we can't do one of them without. Which ultimately it. determines if we do a night, uh, a continued stream Hi. afterwards. But my what focus a, has to be to get better at this. Uh, let's see. We will take the city Here, shift. Check. Okay. Is All right, the three so... Of you? The three of yes. you are taking the city shift? Can I have William Fox, for, myself... For a module? Oh, yeah, you can take... Yeah, sure, go for it. <gasps> I got to be a dead body. Nice. Yes. Oh Why are you so excited about that? Oh, uh, what, what channel you want me on? No, 9.4. Uh, radio check. 10-2. All 
right, let's uh, begin a module. Here, hop in. All right, you get 911 call. It reads, help, our employee was shot. Thank you for choosing Burger Shop. Don't do murder, eat a burger. Was shot at Burger Shop. He's bleeding all over the road outside. Send help. All right, you can begin. Uh, Tango 83, uh, responding to, oh, sorry. Do you have the cheat sheet with you? <sighs> uh, yeah. I would stick to the cheat sheet. It's the 100% perfect way to respond to any call. Uh, Tango 83, 76, 911. Perfect. Hey, Jaysu. Sorry, guys. I'll be a little bit distracted until we get done with this, this module. Yep. Yo. Me. I have a tea bench. Uh, I'll just give you a couple. I'm not really selling it. Bottles of water, so six bucks. Where, where are you getting your tea from, anyways? Okay. Uh, Tango eighty three twenty three. Uh, the latest. I'm one one. All right, I'll get you some tea. Uh, email me. So I remember. All right, see you. Bye. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, the patient is in the middle of the road there, right behind us. Okay, sir, I'm going to get you out of the road real quick. Then we're going to get you taken care of, okay? All right. <coughs> Okay, so I so see you got shot. Um, can you tell me like where you, where and you got you got shot? I was shot in the arms and leg in the chest. Okay. Um, they, they wanted to steal hamburgers. I said no. So then, I ran at them with a frying pan and they started shooting at me. Okay. Uh, well, that's not what I can do right now. We need to get these wounds uh, packed in so they they aren't bleeding. Um, I can get you bandaged. And we're gonna get you in the ambu ambulance and get you back to pillbox, okay? So let me go ahead and get right. the get this uh, packing uh, on here. And um, okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little a pressure bandage bandage on there uh, just to keep these uh, in place, uh, so that we don't have any uh, any more uh, blood coming out. Um, once we get that situated, I'm going to get back the uh, the ambulance. Uh, you there with me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Uh, we're going to get you. Need to get you into the uh, ambulance, God, okay? Is his bone sticking out? Uh, no, he was uh, shot a, f a few times. We need to get him back to uh, pillbox. Oh my God! Hey, babe, I'm expensing this food. By oh, the way, that's gonna make me. That's gonna make me so sick. Oh, I can't look. Oh shit! Oh no! You you were right. You're right. You're right, sir. Um. Okay. Uh. In that case, um. I'm gonna go ahead. You're gonna you're gonna feel a little pop. I'm gonna try and get this uh put back in. Uh. So and then uh put a spin on it. Okay. 
All right, if if you're sure. I mean, it's either that or. <sighs> it's either that or I can put a spell on there right now. We can get you in there and, and get you uh, up, uh, taken care of over at Pillbox. Well, you do whatever you think you need to, man. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, I got the, the splint wrapped around. Um, let's get you back in there, okay? Why is it? <sighs> what is going on? Okay, I'm going to place you back in there, get you uh, situated onto the bed, and get you uh, strapped in. Uh, hold on tight, sir. Stay with me. Keep talking. I need you to keep talking so we can... Uh, uh, what do you want to talk about? Um, tell, me about tell me about your family, okay? You have a family? My brother's trying to kill me. Okay, do you have family that's not trying to kill you? Probably not, maybe. Okay. Uh, Tango, Tango 83, uh, 1076 pillbox medical with 147. Uh, okay. Um, he said he wants to do it with his hands. I don't know what that means. It's probably an innuendo of some sort, or maybe he's trying to kill me. I can't tell. When I confronted him about that, he said, We'll see. And then he did, did a really unusual chuckle. Okay, um, well, in my professional opinion, that boy ain't right, but, um, the only thing I can suggest is, uh, getting in contact with, uh, someone in Pillbox, uh, someone in, uh, PD and get you uh, squared away and so that he's not coming after you. Hey, we're almost there, uh, sir. You get, I need you to stay with me, okay? Stay, stay talking. Um, About what? Uh, before this all went down, were you, uh, were you uh, doing anything today? Were you, uh, did, did anything good happen today before this? Yeah, I was making burgers okay. because that's all I do in my life. I work a minimum wage job and flip burgers at Burger Shot. I've okay. always wanted to flip burgers. That's been my passion my entire life. Okay. Um, everyone needs a, a, a passion in life, and yours is flipping burgers, okay? Uh, Tango 8323 at Pillbox Medical with 147. Okay, sir. Uh, I'm gonna get you uh, squared away with uh, with Nancy. Okay. She comes from a long line of uh. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, Nancy. Uh, this individual was uh, last seen at a pillbox. Uh, he was uh, attempting to protect himself with a. Uh, Pan against a gun and ended up getting shot multiple times. Uh, we did notice uh, after the fact that we, there was a, an issue with his arm, uh, which we attempted to set on scene and we splinted as well. Uh, packed him up with a little bit of gauze and uh, secured the uh, injuries until we could get him securely transferred back here to pillbox. Um, he's probably going to need a little bit of uh, treatment for the uh, gunshot. Um, as well as the arm uh, probably needs to, to get uh, situated with a cast. Ah, fuck, I screwed up. Um. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Fucked up. I fucked uh, up. To review. To review. Let's start off with patient care. Um. A little nervous. You'll get the hang of it. You were able to go through all the steps, which is good. Dispatch, you were able to dispatch it perfectly. You got all 10 codes done. Still a little nervous on that stuff, though. You'll uh, break out eventually. Driving, perfect. No issue with driving. I've had people swerve all over the place to... Uh... I've had a lot of bad drivers. Your driving is good. Easy to sign off on, but... Uh... Knowing the road is a good idea. For example, you took a very unusual path. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, you're on San Andreas going to the hospital. You're following San Andreas. Then you went down Alta Street, went down Vespucci, then went to the hospital when you could have just continued going San Andreas. So, like, San Andreas yeah. on, onto Elgin and then up, up Elgin? Oh, yeah, y'all. You also have been putting the ammo in like really busy places and blocking off important areas. Uh, I think this ammo is scuffed a little bit. Here, put me in. Uh, where you at? Escort. What For example, when we arrived at Burger Shot, you parked in the middle of the parking lot with the ambulance. When you could have just moved it to the side. Like, okay. we can park in the middle of the parking lot, but ideally we should. We shouldn't. Okay. Here, hop in. Oh, shit. So, what you did was, if you open up your map, what you did was you took this path over here. Okay. You could have uh, went down this path, staying on San Andreas Avenue, going all the way to the hospital. Instead, you... From here, you went down Alter Street. Um, I'm going to be honest, like, I'm, like the last I person I was... Apartment that needs help. All right. Okay. Take this call. Um, <clears throat> I want you to do all three dispatch, driving, patient care. Oh. Go for it. Uh, dispatch, Tango 83, 1076, 911 at the uh, apartment. Where is it? Did I? Why did I count on that one? Uh, Tango 83, uh, 1076. Um. You should 911 reply to that one first. Dispatch, Tango 83, ten, uh, 1076 important thing we need to do is to 911 reply first that way we will let all the EMS know we'll let the person who's injured know that we're going to help them that's the thing first thing we do 
Okay. Second, we would dispatch. Also, is there a reason why you dispatched it three times? Um, in my eyes, it looked like you weren't in the, in the driver's seat, so I didn't know if, if you were still yeah, hearing I, it. Yeah, I moved over so you can drive there. Uh, dispatch Tango 23, uh, latest 911. You don't need to let dispatch, you don't have to say dispatch, you just say Tango 83, 23, 911. Alright, uh, get started. Okay. Miss Bunny. Oh, sorry. Hey, sir. Miss Bunny. Hi. I tripped, I tripped and hit my head. Ow. Okay. Um, other than that, are you feeling anything else other than your uh, head? I was just jumping and my, and my leg got caught on the ledge there and I fell. Okay, so I know you got some, uh, some labor breathing, so uh, uh, hopefully we can get a little uh, oxygen into you. Um, can you uh, wiggle your uh, arm, uh, hands and uh, feet for me? I need to, I need to see if there's uh, any sort of other trauma other than just your your head at this point. Uh, are you able to wiggle your hands hands and feet? Okay, okay, okay. Um, so what we're gonna do at this time, uh, just to prevent any sort of uh, injury to uh, your neck and upper uh, your upper body, I'm gonna put you in a seat car and get you on a board, and we're gonna get you over to pillbox. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I got it. We're gonna get you on to this board. So on a count of three, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna lift you over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cradle your neck. We'll get you on the board and get you secure. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna count. Count with me. Okay. So one, two, two, three. Three. Okay. So we're gonna get you in the back of the ambulance. We got a nice little bed in there. Um, we're gonna okay. just uh, strap you down so you're not moving around, and we're gonna get you over to pillbox. Okay. Bro, this is tight. No. Oh yeah, we even got an air conditioner back there. It's cold as fuck in here, man. It's cold. Okay, I'll I'll make sure to turn up the uh, turn off the AC you there. You got a blanket or something? Um. Yeah, hold on. Okay, there you go, man. Uh, t Tango eighty three. 1076, pillbox medical with Uh, Tango ready three twenty three pillbox medical with one forty seven. So parking perfectly isn't something you need to do when we have a patient in the back. Okay. <sighs> okay, sir. We're going to get you out of there real quick. Okay. 
I'm gonna take that blanket and, and, and wrap it up and put it in, on the bed after, okay. afterwards. Alright, Sorry about the, uh, the, uh... Um, you, you got that shit on 62 in there or something? Um... It was set by the, uh, the last person that had the ambulance. Jesus, what is his name? Freaking Underdweller or something? Uh... Uh, I, th I think someone might be up with my eyes. Oh, uh, hold still. All right, so here, check into Vatsy. Yeah, I don't know how to explain what I just saw, but... Oh, no worries. Unloader, do you need the heli? Yep. Okay, no refuel and then it's here. Already out, okay. Yeah. Also, someone try to decapitate me, please. Help with that. Yeah, Sadie, you lose... I'm kidding, you lose slight points for putting her in the blade. <laughs> she didn't go down, though, so that's impressive. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that, man. Were you waiting long, or did you just get up here? Oh, we just got up here. There's okay, two cool. 47s that simultaneously pops up at the FTSO. That's suspicious as hell. Got it, got it. Almost done, almost done. We're done with both our molecules, also. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll have a good uh, 10 minutes left. All right, Will, let's get in. Latest 47s. Perfect. I want you to keep comms up. Okay. Okay. It's just gonna come with time and practice, but I'm find, trying to find time to actually get on when I'm not like streaming or I'm not doing YouTube stuff. Uh, 
this guy. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Uh, how do I get in there? Um. I literally could not get out of that. Um. All right, it looks good here. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure if there's an issue with one door, but I couldn't get out of the one the passenger side. Yelling? Uh, yeah. I couldn't get out of the passenger side for some reason. What the hell? Ah, shit. Uh, Tango 83, uh, 76, back to Probox Medical. That's weird. Like I couldn't get out of the, I couldn't get out of that that, that side just for whatever reason. <clears throat> was that because I was see? Oh fuck, man. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing. That. I should have went, I should have done the last one and today's, I would have been at least, I feel like I'm, I'm still not, like, comfortable. Tango eighty three twenty three nine one one. All right. Yeah, I got you. Uh, sir. This is, yeah. What's good, dude? Uh, everything's good. Um, what 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 happened? Can you can you talk to me for a sec? Buying V Bucks in the store, uh, but basically, all that happened was um, a bald man stabbed me. Okay, uh, do you, can you tell me where he stabbed you? Yeah, in the belly. In the belly? Okay. Yeah. Um, so what we're gonna Is do? Is this a battle bus? No, no, no. Uh, the battle bus actually left. They're at Tilted Towers right now. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, pretty yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, so what we're gonna do? Um, I'm gonna take this gauze. We're gonna, we're gonna. Press it against and your uh, wound over there, so we can prevent any uh, further uh, blood loss. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna, gonna wrap it, and we're gonna get you uh, put on, uh, put into our ambulance, okay? Okay, dude. He's, he's 
Go ahead and transport yeah, it. We got a car? Okay, let's uh. go. See you later, guys. Oh, that hurt my stomach. Not white yet. Okay. Um, I made sure to go ahead before I did that, and I, I cleaned out the wound, uh, so we don't have any, uh, we're not going to have any issues with that. Uh, so okay, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get you into our uh, uh, helicopter over there, and we're going to get you back to pillbox, okay? Was this a battle so boy? briefly, okay. what happened to him? Uh, he says he was walking in and uh, was trying to get these things called V-Bucks, but apparently some bald man uh, stabbed him in the gut. Uh, I put. Oh, uh, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Okay. How the fuck is he in our parking lot, though? Uh, I was getting V-Bucks in the shop. It's V-Bucks. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, what you get on Fortnite? Oh, Ugh. God. Fortnite. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you situated in our in, in our helicopter. And we'll get you over the pillbox, and they can uh, help you out a little bit better. Okay. There's another guy you need to help, bro. Oh my gosh, where is he? Okay, you want me to get in a helicopter? Um. Can I drive it? No, sir. Stay right there. Stay right there. Fuck. What happened over okay. here? Oh, I will lie down. Can okay. I drive the helicopter? Uh, no, I can't even ha uh, uh, drive the helicopter, and I am. Uh, Why not? Because I'm, I'm still training. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Yeah, I'm in helicopter now. Okay, so I'm just letting you know uh, what we did is just basic triage to uh, to stop the bleeding. Uh, we do have I another person. I don't know what triage means. Okay, well we just. Oh, you yeah, hey. All right, well you. Is that a kind of dessert like truffle? All right, we'll dispatch him. Uh, Tango eighty three seventy six back. Uh, seventy six to pillbox medical I with one forty seven. Uh, was it was the other person there, or was it just the, the one that, that we had? No, it's just him. This is like, we need to jump out with our gliders, dude. We're in kill it. Guys, uh, where are we landing? Where are we landing, guys? Built the tower. <laughs> okay. Watch out, guys. We might get third party here. I mean, what do you expect for Tilted Towers? Yeah. Tango 8323, Pillbox Medical with 147. Alright, here. You take him down to Nancy? Oh. What's a Nancy? Uh, Is what? that what? some kind of chocolate cake? Radio check. Uh, 10 2. Let's uh, meet back at the hospital. Uh, at the lobby? I need a chug jug. Um, shit. <sighs> Fuck. Mm. I hate that. Oh man, if we can actually, uh, I don't, I don't know how this is going to work because I, Yeah. That was fun.
Yeah, I can't really go back to the scene of the, the crash as I went literally in, unless, unless I crashed before I went into the, we'll see. Uh, this sucks. This really, really sucks. Oh, man. Oh, it is. Uh, I, I knew something was going to happen when like, I saw that visual shit in the, in the, like, the lobby. I gotta sign back in. Fuck this shit. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll I don't, are you signed off on care? Well. Alfie, are you signed off on care? Yeah, well, yeah, I will be now by the end of this academy. I mean, I've been run around it twice. Got it. If I'm not, then you might as well sack me, to be honest, because if I haven't managed to do what I'm supposed to do... Say less. Fucking 12 hours. <laughs> <and> <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> I don't to be. Say no yeah. more! <laughs> don't brag! Actually, no, 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 I need the EU friend. No, 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 please don't fire him. I actually want friends in uh, EU. <laughs> Will with Randy? Uh, Will with Randy? See. Alfie and Rajit with me. Okay, don't <sighs> fuck. Let's try not to crash game. Is that all the trainees, or do we have... Uh... Are you with Sadie? And, uh, hey, how's it going? Ariel, is you're Veronica gonna be Rome, I think? No, Veronica's my dead body. Got it, okay. Yeah. All right, I told her to go on doing and get paid, but she yep. keeps saying no. <laughs> and after Medium this, I will conclude the... I guess I'm taking the hell of you guys. Hey guys, quick pop quiz. If your instructor is drinking out of the job, what do you do? Have the chain of command. Boom. Not let them drive. I'm taking Perfect. them to right, Let's go, Wolf. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> Randy. Oh, yeah, Will. I need her, uh, I heard there's some EMS stuff yet. training today. Who wants to save a life, guys? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been. Oh, you want to save a life? What happened? It's a GSW in the temple. Oh, Sadie, let's go. Will over in here. In the temple. Yeah. We are escaping this disaster oh, fest. Alright, so. When you arrive on a scene and they're injured, you can't pick them up like that anymore, alright? Okay. You need to drag their lifeless body into the ambo, bring them to the hospital, then you pick them up. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Right there, right there. I'm gonna stop there. Let's see, what else? When you're doing dispatch, you'll eventually get better at it. 
Uh, you'll eventually tell the ums. Uh, patient care. When you're treating a patient, think of it as having a conversation with them. Keep them, keep them talking, keep them uh, entertained, stuff like that. I would highly avoid using... Uh, so you have Medicare or... I would highly avoid using stuff like this. Okay. Because there's a long gap of just you not talking and you doing that. And it's just very, very... It's not how uh, it should go. Understood. I'm just going to say that. It's uh, boring it is a man to just it's a completely beat. stop a conversation and do, and do that. I'm trying to like word this yeah, properly, it's really difficult. Give me, y'all you have any pee? pee? I need some pee. And that's about it. Uh, Randy's going to drill that into your head a little harder than I will. Okay. I will. Uh, Copy. What? Good luck. Drill what? Uh, this text me. Get on Stop. Get on the Go Dodo. Express, express. Uh, let's drive up the road to Lat Cube. What used to be Lat Cube. Um. Ooh, changing it up this time. I just want to get away from here so we can, uh. I can do the thing. I'm still not 100% familiar with, like. Yeah, it's a lot right up in front of us to the left. The, the parking lot here. Okay, uh, what kind of calls have you done? Um, basic stuff of uh... Oh, well, we had some people with multiple uh, gunshot wounds. We had people that fell uh, with their that hit, hit their head. Um, what, the last one I did was someone got stabbed. Okay, uh, so we're going to do a DOA. Um, are you? How confident are you with patient care? <sighs> I I would say maybe I'm like fifty, maybe sixty percent confident. Let me get this real quick then. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna use the local clause for this. Alright. Um, basically, it's gonna be a DOA. There are no doctors on duty. Okay? So this is the call that came in, right there. After that call came in, all right, PD responded, and then they requested 52, us. They, they're informing you that there is a body that is you know, dead, right? So you're going to go on radio. You're going to say what you're doing to those you know, 52 requests that you're, you're in route, and then we're going to go to that location, all right? So go ahead. Oh no no, do it on video. Um and, uh, I'm gonna be eastbound I'm going, going up to Elysian Fields Freeway. Correction on the train tracks, continuing eastbound. Uh radio check. I don't have you. Wrong radio frequency headset nine point one. Radio check. Alright, yeah, there we go. Uh, Tango 83, 76, the last 911. Okay, yep. And then we'll go to the call. Which is more than the GPS. Shit. <sighs> and you 
didn't play a fox. Yeah, so just keep keep code three up when you're responding to calls. And then just make sure you're paying attention to PD, that if they are near you, you kind of stay out of their way. Even if you have to stop, that's fine. Uh, but don't piss off PD, because that will get upset. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so when you dispatch stuff, make sure that you're just keeping it very short and simple. Uh, a big thing, I know we said it earlier, but I'm going to harp on this and do not say back 10-8. Um, you're not going to use filler words on radio or in 3 and one You're never going to say, uh, you know, Tango 99. I just use 99 as a random number. Tango 99 is some in route to the latest 9 at, nobody can check, but say, Tango 99 76 is latest. Easy. And there's multiple 911s, just say 9976 latest at the road, at whatever. Uh, if you 311, you can do it that way as well, but I personally like to say 9976 latest and then in parentheses I put the number. Um, but whatever way you want to do it is fine. Uh, go down to the blue house. Right here. Uh, Tango Um,
All right, roll in. Okay, um, well, looks like, uh, she was shot and stabbed, stabbed in the back uh, multiple times, uh, neck is sliced, uh, let me, uh, check on, I mean, obviously there's no, probably not going to be a pulse, but let me check, make sure there's no, uh, pulse before I make a determination. Okay, uh, no pulse out this time. The uh, individual appears to be deceased, but I can't make that determination completely. Um, I guess we need to get, get her back to the, the hospital to for them to make that call. Um, so I guess... We'll, I need to go ahead and get her. Yep. So at this point, PD has already been here and they've already taken all the pictures and all that good stuff. Uh, so she's dead, dead. Um, not officially, officially, but she is like dead, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so you, you check the pulse. There's no pulse. There's no pulse. Okay. And then all this. So you're just mentally you remember this. I'm gonna delete all this. So okay. Alright, uh, let's get her into the end, but you don't have to escort her, she can walk this time. Normally you would, but you know, just an escort to her, but that's it. Alright, so, you have one DOA. Okay. I don't know if it was different for this. Alright, ready? Yeah. Okay, so you have one DOA, so you're gonna radio what you would say uh, as we're transporting this person back to the left. Uh, Tango 8376, pillbox with one DOA. Okay, yep. Alright, now we'll go to pillbox. Uh, now normally, if there's a doctor around, or even if there's not, you go to radio channel 6, and you would say, doctors from EMS. If they respond, you would inform them that, hey, I've got a DOA coming, do you want me to meet you at the morgue or the hospital? If they say the morgue, you'll go to the morgue. If they say hospital, go to the hospital. Sometimes they want you to meet them at the hospital and drive them to the morgue, that's fine. In this event, though, we, we know there's no doctors at all. Uh, you double checked on the radio already. There are none, so we're gonna go, and you're gonna have to do the autopsy report uh, from Nancy. So Nancy's gonna do the report, um, and then you're just gonna kind of, you know, get the information from her to make the report. You know? Yeah. So we'll go to the hospital. You can just go up her. That's fine, and we'll get that situated. How long have you been at EMS? Um, counting today, this has been my third third day. Like I've been desperately trying to get into the city, but finding finding an FBO to take take me in has been rather difficult. Yeah, that's kind of the tough thing about that. We don't have a lot of FBOs right now. Maybe soon, DM. We'll see. Yeah. 
freaking E button doesn't work. I want to work half the time. Wait, what did you do before you were EMS? Um, well, I have a tow company, kind of, that I operate on the side. Uh, Tango 83, 23, pillbox, medical, with one DOA. Alright, turn off the lights. Make sure the lights are off, and then turn off the car, the ambo. Uh, you don't have to get her out. Normally you would, but she can just get out, it's fine. Get in the habit of whenever you get out of the ammo, you always lock it because people will steal their ammos and you only need a basic lockpick for it. So, okay. it's super easy to steal an ammo. Uh, normally, what you would do at this point is you would take her over to Nancy and then you would, you know, help her up the best you can to Nancy, you know, so Nancy can then take her back and do the autopsy. We're just going to skip that part because otherwise she loses. Nancy tried just to talk to, and Nancy's not worth it to talk to. I mean, not all Nancy's can be that bad. I mean, fair. Alright. So at this point, Nancy has looked over the patient. Uh, however, she, so Nancy has an autopsy report. But basically, you now have to ask the questions to Nancy out loud to get the answers, because Nancy's kind of a bitch. Uh, if you look in the email chain the, of the ICs one, uh, I put a, li a little cheat sheet thing to kind of do the basics. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. hold on, hold on. Hmm. Where's it at? Hey. Okay, um, so, okay, so we need to get her information, her state ID, her item. Yep. So that we so can what ascertain I do her. It's just start at the top, go to the bottom. So, you know, make, ask Nancy if she had an ID, oh. you know, all that, because the ID will give you a few different things, right? Okay. Uh, just go through and do this like you're doing. Uh, Nancy, do we have a name for this individual? Okay, uh, Veronica Westfield. Uh, I didn't catch a state ID. Um, if you just uh, put your, your key muscle, uh, the ID at the bottom, it has it. The uh, C R E F. Okay, uh, her state. That's a state ID. Oh, what the hell? Okay, her state ID was 19646. Um, do we know any next of kin, any emergency contents, contacts for uh, Veronica? Okay, so she has a fiance, a Joshua Norton, Norris, rather, a brother, a Joshua J.B. Beretta, another brother, Vincent Genovese, a uh, sister, Semolina Thales, and some, uh, I guess, associates, friends, Randy Atham and Kiki Pendragon. 
Um, can you go ahead and notify her fiance first, as I'm pretty sure he's going to want to know uh, the status of her, of his fiance. Um, but also, can you actually scratch that? Can you get a hold of her uh, immediate family, her brother Joshua, uh, Vincent, and sister Simulina, uh to let them know? And then, as soon as you're done, can you let uh, Joshua know? Uh, about the situation. Yep. So normally I would uh, after. So just for now, write them down, and then you're good. Okay. Um. We arrived on scene of this individual, Veronica, uh, laying face down uh, next to a blue house. Uh, her neck was sliced and she was stabbed multiple times, uh, bled out into a pool of blood. Uh, we arrived, when we arrived on scene, we made sure to check uh, if she in fact still had a pulse, even a faint one. Uh, it was determined that she, she did not have a pulse at that time. Uh, we transported her back box uh, to uh, start to process uh, and ultimately uh, find closure uh, for uh, this individual. Okay, write all that down. Um, uh, do we write it down like, like this on a, on a notepad or? Uh, whatever one you want to do, just make it so you can send it to me. However you want to do that. Okay. Um, sorry guys. Um, um. Field C ID one nine six four six. Um. Sorry guys.
Um, Nancy. Oh shit. Uh, Nancy, can I get the emergency contacts for uh, this Westfield again? <clears throat> Okay. Uh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, I typed really bad. Oh, man. Uh, okay, uh, I got the uh, report done. Um, is there a, a better way to send it to you? Uh, my Discordia email, uh, which is the one that sent it in the, uh, the Discord email. Um, I don't, I don't know which one it is. Um, Obviously not that one. Um, I actually, I don't see it. <sighs> Fuck. What do you mean, the report? Or... No, I don't, I don't see the, the okay. email. It looks like it's not cloudy. Um, I'm adding this in, fuck it. Um, well, save. Please tell me I sent it to... File, save as, new folder, np. 
because otherwise I'm not going to be able to find this shit. Okay, it's been sent over. I'm gonna put all the other stuff, uh, like the injuries that they sustain, the cause of death, um, the time of death, all that stuff, right? Uh, doing it in a email. Like, just a regular email is fine. Um, you'd also want to do the toxicology and all that fun stuff as well. Okay. Uh, just for the future. Um, one sec. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna need to get some ice because I'm gonna get like oh actually this is surprisingly cold for however long we've been up here. Alright. Um so after you would write the report, just make sure in the future that you do all the stuff on the thing, even if it takes a while. Uh after you do the report, you'll you know, get some out of the bed and take them back to the ICU room. Uh they have two options at this point, right? Uh the after death uh, report would state if the person chose before death, do they want visitors or not? Uh, so what I would do is this. And then you know, just kind of wait for a response type thing. When they get a response, uh, they would you would get them out of bed. So Nancy helped them out of bed. And then you would escort them to back. We're not going to do the escorting because, again, you know, it's a mock. But normally they would. You would escort them, okay? So come back here. So this patient specifically did not want visitors, so you would just take them back here to the shower. Okay. Now at this point, they'd be, you know, up, right? They, they'd be allowed to kind of walk on their own, even though, you know, they are dead. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So you would just leave them in here, and then you'd, you'd walk outside. Just wait outside the door for a few minutes, make sure that, you know, they, they go into the shower, and then, you know, they're good to go. You know what the shower does, right? You're aware? Uh... No, I was never told when I went. Okay, when I... just come in here and you'll see. You'll see what I mean. Just come in here. And, uh, yeah, you'll see. Oh, yeah, oh, take, okay. Take shower. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, now, if they want to go to ICU, uh, for visitors, you take them over here. And just put them in any of the beds, either in here or there or in the back room. Usually we try to use these two on the left here, just because, I don't know, they're just kind of the nicer ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but usually we'll use one of those two on the left, and then you would call the people on the list, and then you would just stay here. So at this point, you would be 10-7. Uh, you would put over, you know, radio, well, not even radio, you put over 311, uh, like, you know, Tango 99, 10-7, uh, you know, visitation, whatever. And then you would just be here letting people in and out of the ward, making sure they're supposed to be here, etc. When the person is, you know, the morgue is ready to take them. Uh, they'll contact you probably via the clouds again, and then you'll just take them to the shower. Or they can just, you know, take them right out of bed. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do that if they're just, you know, going to go to sleep. Okay. Permanently, permanently. They can just go to sleep in there. However, if a cousin might be coming around, then you can take them to the shower. Just facilitate with them. Um, you know. Understood. Uh, but that's pretty much the DOA. Uh, if you have any, do you have any questions on that? 
Um, <clears throat> so, not really any questions. I'm just, I need to go over in my head so that, like, like it's for me, it's more or less repetition. So we, we go, go on scene, individuals DOA. We, get, we ascertain if they are, in fact, DOA. We put them, we transport them back here. Um, and then we do, we send them back, put them on the bed, do the report, make sure it's pretty much detailed as possible. And then we make the, we ask them again if they want to have visitation or if they just want to, I guess, go to the shower or flower, sorry. Yeah. And then we take them up here. And if they're getting visitation, they get visitation. Otherwise, if they're not, then we uh, send them either to the shower or they go uh, permanent sleep. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what you do. Okay. Um, just make sure that you take your time with it. Um, you were very nervous. I can tell you were very overwhelmed by shit, um, which is fine. You're very green, which is fine. Uh, just focus on what you can focus on, right? Uh, and a lot of this is about confidence. Wait, what did, what did they just say? Shit, that's true. Um, yeah, so basically, you would uh, focus on what you can focus on. Uh, do your job to the best you can. Confidence is everything in this job. Uh, on radio, even though there's nobody listening on radio, you're very, um, you know, Tango 99 uh, is uh, 76. Like, even if you have to say it in your head before you say it on radio, like Tango 99 76 latest, uh, don't be afraid to do that. Just confidence is key, right? Um, I know it's just really Tango 68 timing. to all units. Please wrap up and head back to pillbox. Um, I know it's just going to be repetition, so just kind of work on that. Work on becoming a bit more confident in what you're doing. Um, okay. As far as reports, you know, again, there's no such thing as too long of a report, but there is such thing as too short of a report. Um, so trying to find that that uh, sweet spot, right, where you're giving it as much information as you can uh, without, you know, just completely disregarding stuff. Uh, like the report you sent me had no medical information. That report is like, you know, it, it's more of a PD report that you would send to them. Okay. Uh, but the doctors need to be able to know like what happened and stuff like that. Um, I get that's not really our job, but unfortunately, sometimes we have to do it. If you were ever in the middle of doing a report for an ICU or DOA and a doctor comes on duty as you were getting information or whatever, stop your report. Tell the doctor you have this, this, this. Tell them what you know, and they will take over. Uh, they would prefer that they do it anyway, to be honest, if they're around, because it's just better for them and the system they use, because they actually have a full-on system, mm -hmm. uh, and we do not, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Uh, I sent you an example of an ICU report I did. I personally don't use the format that I showed you guys uh, in the emails. I personally have in my own format I use, and I like to, to put places. Uh, this is just me personally. I like organization, mm -hmm. uh, and I like, I, first of all, I like paperwork. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, so normally what I would do is if I would write my report like this, I would then put that in the ICU DOA master sheet we have. Do you know what that is, by the way? Uh, negative. Hello. Okay, in the emails where I put the report template thing, mm -hmm. uh, go to the pins and then look at the, it's called like an ICU DOA master list or some shit like that. Go to that and you'll see all the DOAs and ICUs. Whenever you have a DOA or an ICU, you want to put the name, the information in that report. Okay. So the doctors and other EMS can see it. Right? 
Okay. Um, I know there's a lot of information for you. Um, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of a lot when it comes to this stuff. That's why I want to teach this specifically. Because um, it's doing medical, like you got shot or whatever, and just bring them to the hospital is fine. Uh, but where a lot of medics fuck up is this stuff. They fuck up doing reports and paperwork, etc., because they're, they're kind of lost. Um, hopefully, it's a bit more streamlined soon. Uh, I'm working on something for that that I'm trying to get Riv to. I mean, Riv likes it, but trying to get everybody on board with. Uh, so it's a bit more streamlined for us. It'll be easier for you guys. <laughs> Uh, but don't be afraid if you do do an ICU or DOA, do not be afraid to ask somebody of even equal rank to you or higher rank to you to come help assist. I am almost always on duty uh, during the NA shift, uh, especially on most weekends. I'm on duty for a long fucking time. Uh, so do not be afraid to ever reach out to me or email me. I will answer questions via email. Again, nine times out of ten, I am literally available. Uh, do not be afraid to reach out to me and ask me questions. I will answer them. Uh, whether it's email or I'm in the city, it, it does not matter. Uh, I want to make sure we're doing things properly. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to make sure you guys are not being too overwhelmed. Um, and you guys are getting the help that you guys are getting. Uh, don't be afraid to fall back on your units. Don't be afraid to fall back to checking SLPs or previous work done by yourself. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, like I said, you're very green. It's very noticeable. I think Riv was kind of talking to you about that as well. You're very nervous. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you just need repetition and time, and you just kind of need to grasp things, uh, which is fine. Everybody learns at different rates. So don't be afraid to ask people. Uh, but I think you'll be fine. Uh, you just kind of got to, you know. Like, can, out there. Can, can, I, can I be honest with you, sir? Yeah. Like when I was in uh, when I was in school, like you ever know those people that they just they learn differently. Like it's yeah. not it, it's not like it, you can teach them like A B C one two three. Like you like they visually have to see that to learn. I was kind of like that, and it's 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 hard to like wrap people around the fact that like I can't always learn like, the standard way that someone teaches, you know? Oh, yeah, no, for sure, I get that. Um, if you are somebody who's more hands-on, I would highly recommend that you um, contact Lucy DeMonte. Okay. Uh, Lucy is very, very good at, like, just kind of explaining things and showing you as you go. Uh, I'm also, again, usually pretty much available to train. Um, I am more of a, I'm going to throw you to the wolves and have you figure it out. I want you to fuck up as a trainee. I want you to unseen fuck up because that's how you learn, right? Kind of like you just said, like, you are not somebody who's going to look at the SOP and think, okay, I got it, right? And that's fine. Like, we don't need people to do that, right? We just need people to be able and willing to learn eventually. Mm -hmm. um, so if you are somebody who's more hands-on, I would highly recommend that you just, you know, try to get with as many competent people as possible. Okay. Uh, I specifically say competent because there are some people who are a little bit more, they'll take you, but they're not really going to teach you. <laughs> they're, they're just going to kind of take you. Um, they're not going to really, you know, work with you or, or assist you. Uh, I'm always available to take people, so reach out to me if you want. Uh, Riv is always available. Lucy is almost always available. Ariel is almost always available. Uh, there's a lot of us who, like, we will understand that and we will teach you. So don't feel bad that you learn differently or anything like that. And don't take what I'm giving you as a bad thing. I don't mean it to degrade you or anything. It's just what I notice. Um, but, yeah, I think you will be fine. I think for you it really is just going to come down to repetition. Um, and just kind of becoming confident. Like, but you'll you'll get there. I, I really do think you will get there. I would much rather have someone say, "Hey, this is what you're doing wrong. This is what you should be doing." Like, not being around the bush. So, like, I I appreciate what you're doing, I, and I understand what you're doing. Yeah, and that's how I am. Um, I will let you fuck up 
doing you're doing it and then i'll go back and correct you you know right after you do it or whatever so that way you you learn you know what i mean mm-hmm. and there's not one way to you know like cook a cow right yeah uh sometimes you get unseen and some people do things a little bit differently it's not necessarily wrong it's just the way they do it so like the whole um scene up at sandy you did it a little bit differently than i would have done it but you hit the key components right mm-hmm. and that's not a bad thing that's why i just kind of like, yeah you, you did it fine um same thing with the report. You know, you took a little bit longer with the report, but that doesn't matter. I would rather you take 25 minutes to do a report and it be fully filled out, ready to go, than you take five minutes and the police be like, what the fuck is this shit? You know what I mean? So don't worry yeah. about speed. Worry about execution. Yeah. Um, and I will tell you, like, I don't mean personally, I will tell you flat out, you know, the feet around the bush. Also, don't feel like you have to not tell me what you feel. Um, I know I'm only an EMT, but if, you know, if I ever do get command copium, one of the ways that I run command, because um, I was an officer. You guys on frequency, we're in E, bop, 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 by the front counter, pillbox. Copy, we'll be up in a minute. I'm just uh, going over everything with uh, William. Um, where was I? Oh, one thing I do when I when I was a like, command in the PD well, before I moved to the city, problem, um, I don't care the if it's a command member or if it's an EMP. I think all input is valid. I think everybody sees a department from different eyes, and you need input from all angles to have a solid department. Mm-hmm. So, like, I I want to know what you see in the department. I want to know how you feel about people training you. I want to know how you are feeling with the atmosphere and everything, and how you think things. So don't ever feel like you need to, you know, come to me and, and you know, kiss ass or whatever. I want to know your feelings and how you are, uh, think like what you think you need or what you feel you need as well. Okay? And then I can coordinate that with other people who I think would be a good fit for you, uh, training wise and stuff like that. Like I can tell you right now, like AU would not be a good trainer for you. Like AU is a great medic. He's a great guy, but his training yeah, style is very just more. He's like a partner as opposed to a trainer. You know? Okay. I, um, I I have an idea of stuff I gotta work on. Um, I feel like yeah, I, yeah, I'm and I feel like there there was like a few of these guys that were uh, doing the modules that that I felt were like doing everything within their 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 uh, power to kind of instill in me what to do. You know. Um, I can't remember yeah. his name, but he was like, he was the guy that was in the wheelchair. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, he kind of, I, I feel like I frustrated him a bit. But he, he, might, he's like that. That's why I said I don't think you'd be good for him, to be honest. Okay. Um, I think you'd be better off with somebody like me or Lucy. I honestly, Lucy is great. Uh, she has a lot of patience for people. Uh, okay. and she really understands like people's learning differences. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like um, if I get the chance, I I might uh, try and and get uh, her to kind of train me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to email people. Uh, especially I know Lucy will never care if you email her and say, okay. "Hey, when are you available for a training session? Are you available then here, here, here?" Uh, okay. They have no issues with that. Uh, myself included. I know Ariel is the same well, way. Do not, the academy. Let's don't go. be afraid oh. to uh, reach out to her either. Okay. Okay, okay guys. Um, it's about what yeah, six nineteen. You'll get there. Nobody don't don't fail. Thank you. All That's right. about six nineteen. So I want you guys' thoughts. Academy. Should we do your Minecraft FTO, tonight, or should your we? Will be either editing the FTO document or they're going to be sending me the stuff and then I'll do it for them. Thank you guys for attending the Academy. Uh, if you guys do really well during the Academy, we can recommend sign-offs and Ooh. such. If you have not had your three shadow shifts yet, these automatically count as your first three, so you can ride with EMTs now. Oh, sweet. Remember, if you want to clock on duty, hit the cadet button in the Discordia dispatch. And uh, ideally, you want to PM a FTO to get a session in, or might as well message an EMT around. 
you'll most likely get EMTs more than FTOs given our large EMT pool. But yeah, that is about it. Any questions today? Um, not, not offhand, no. All right, with that, that will conclude the Academy. Thank you guys for attending. Now let's refuel and get those ambles back in place. All right, break. Ratchets, your drone down says you're repairing the amber that you left on the roof. What are you doing, What are you doing? Yeah, you're doing it. Doing? I'm not paying for your repairs. Great. Are you going to stay on duty? Yes, I will stay on duty. Can, can we ride, ride along? Yeah. You can ride along with me while you repair it, and then I need to get to... Am I going to head to... I am pretty tired. All right, you take care. Oh! Oh, I deserve that. Is anybody yes. at least going to stay on duty? Go to bed. Uh, no, I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> Any EMTs? That's a 14 hour. Oh, oh my. Oh. Wait, medic him. Where? Who's a Delphine? Where? In the middle of the fucking ocean? Huh? That's a 13B. Oh. Wait, what? Where is Wait, it? is it in here? Wait, who got. Okay, who just went. No, someone's in the tunnel. Who the fuck went to the tunnel? I think. Um. Okay, so it's your your guys' call. Yeah, Should we conclude for today? We don't know what's going Come on. back on Thursday. We legit or do you, know what. Or what? Let me know what you guys think. Because yeah, I definitely need to get some food, so that's probably going to be a good, like, maybe 30 minutes, maybe hour. Yeah, but we don't... Yeah, okay. I'm going to the tunnels. I yeah. think he's down there. Yeah, he's the tunnel. You got it? Oh. What? Are you... Okay, I'm making sure. Look for Tango 68. Um, so yeah, let me know, let me know guys, I'm fine, I'm fine with, like, just calling it here for the day and coming back on Thursday, or come back an hour later and do a little bit of Minecraft, it's up to you guys, really. I know definitely, I'm definitely gonna need some food, because I'm starving. Some of them first day on. I was going 42, but now I gotta go to Oh, is that, is that Alfie? What are you flying off with? And then uh, I'm gonna uh, yeah. go park my ambulance. And that's How about it. you, ma'am? Me? Me? Yeah. Because Sorry, the back doors were locked. Are you flying uh, out? Oh, okay. Hey, for my checks under the beds too. Probably. Yeah. yeah, this is. I'm not normally awake for several more hours. Oh, um. Are, are the ones out there going to be taken care of? I mean, or do you need me to... Um, let's stay here for now until they clear this area for James Randall. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to do a bloody report. Okay. Okay, well, we got a little bit of time, because I guess we got to wait for this person to come back. You're going to write how I flew off the mountain? But I'm probably gonna call it yeah, for that. Once we're, once we're, I get the okay to like go 10:42, right, I'm, I'm just gonna go call 42 it. For a bit. I'll be back in a little bit. If any trainee wants to go when I come back, let me know. Are you coming oh, sure. with me on duty? Yes. Are you actually coming on duty? Okay. Yes, you can human traffic me into coming on duty. I, I can only take one. I'm sorry, Reggie. I'm sorry. I'm not an FTO yet. Otherwise, I would. Tell command you want me to be an FTO.
I hate to break his heart, but I haven't been on duty in like. I'm the FS. That's oh trainer God. and A. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I'm not sorry, that sounded wrong. I actually was like the only trainer and A for like a solid month. Or he, he goes on duty and I just hang out. <laughs> yeah, either I'm training or she's just hanging out with me. One of the two. I uh, I'm gonna go forty two, I have to go do some shit and then I'll be back and then I will email you when I'm coming back. I'm going to bed, thank you guys for today. I appreciate it. I'm not allowed. Good to you literally only came. Bar. Yeah, Jane doesn't what? care. He ran out. She only came for the end of the day. You good? How's it going? Oh, God damn. Oh, Let's shit. go. Come on. That, that's them right there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That sounds a whole lot, whole, whole lot of James Randall. Alrighty. Uh, Trainee, one of you, come with Fuck. me. I have to put my goddamn ammo in. Oh shit. No. Unemployed. Ugh. What? Where the hell did I put my truck? Oh, it's still over here. Okay, I can ch actually change my, uh, my apartment. Okay, once we get back to the apartment, I'm gonna go, we're gonna go on a raid. So if you guys have any raid targets in mind, it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, uh, GTA could be Minecraft, could be Stardew Valley, could be anything. Uh, type in the chat below, and we'll uh, go on a raid. Uh, thank you guys again for understanding. I know this was an, e an earlier stream than most. Uh, this will be a one-off. Um, most of my training I'm going to do is going to be uh, on the days that I'm done streaming anyway. Um... Please do not tell me they're at their freaking apartments. I want to be. I want to be able to go home, go home. Driving, I feel, needs to be improved. That was a big deal. Uh... Mm So now we can actually do our. Uh, oh, I need to uh, need to park you. Okay, so now we can actually do our uh, EMT ride-alongs and get better. Ugh, this ship. Day, this day was eventful. Hey. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me get the voice changer off because I don't need that anymore. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead. And get that up. Um. Ultimately, thank you guys for indulging me in something that I always wanted to do. Uh, I can't say when the next time, if we will stream this, but our last will be on a, on a bonus day that I'm not really actually streaming. Um, um, not seeing... <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so your choices are Critical Jess, Most Major MC, and
yeah. Most major MC or critical Jess. One's playing Escape from Tarkov, the other is playing Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> those are my options, unless you have a better, better, better person that's live. Okay, um, I think we're going to go with most major. Currently doing some ragamod of uh, Minecraft. Um, thank you guys again for hanging out. Here's our raid command. Feel free to copy it down. Do not spam in the channel. Uh, if you want to follow, if you not have not done so, you're more than welcome to do so. Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys back here on Thursday. Um, guys. In eight days, we will be doing our first American Truck Sim bonus stream. Uh, I got something planned for you guys for that day. Stay tuned. Um, as always, we are uh, we are w with uh, stream loots for this th next three days or so. If you want to buy packs, you're more than welcome to do so. If you have any Minecraft card suggestions. Feel free to let me know in Discord and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>